Thank you, Kenneth. It's no secret that our governments have fostered a culture of corruption in which special interest and big donors advance their interest at the expense of everyday people. The pharmaceutical industry does not create cures, they create customers. <laughs> Konnichiwa Minigawa, it is me, Katsuwaki, and I'm your furry and reach representative, and this is Class of 09, the re-up, the se- the, well, it's not a sequel. <coughs> it is not a sequel, it is the re-up. <coughs> so, we're taking a little break from Persona 5, in our Class of 09. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're back we're back with it again. <laughs> um so uh Okay, so um if you do not remember if you do not remember class of 09, oh well, that's your fault for clicking on a video that is that is the that is the part two. Um <clears throat> Uh, before before I begin, um, remember, um, well, just a trigger warning for everything. Just all the trigger warnings. Okay, so okay, I don't remember which ones, which ones that we did and which ones we did not Let's see. Because I saved different scenarios. Which one should we go with? Which ones did I not do? Which? Because all, all of these choices are crazy after like, um, like two months of not playing this. Like, rile up a potential stalker, get the six addicts, addicts to fight. Okay, I think I did, I did both of these. Let's see. Let's do that $10 for the CD in 2008. 
done the ending when Nicole had to sell her body, but ended up getting the teacher to look like a liar to get her life back. That, that I do remember. Whoops. Hold on. That was... That was like this, this scenario right here. I think. That was the art class, I believe. What if I kept skipping then? Well, that was... Yeah, that was... Hmm. Which one led to which? So, I should... I should get the six X to fight. I don't think I did that one. I remember Rella Potential Stalker. I do not remember get the six the six X to fight. But this one I would do. I don't remember what led to this. <coughs> I, don't <re> <coughs> 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 I don't recall what led to the scenario. Excuse me. Huh. Hey Kelly. What's up, Nicole? Jeffrey was just telling me how he wants to shove his face in your boobs. Uh, what? Well, hey, I didn't say that. Oh my God, Jeffrey, don't lie. The first step is admitting you have a problem. If you were attractive, I'd immediately let you, but you're just another ugly stalker. Yeah, keep it in your top. pants okay. for once, Jeffrey. If I wasn't in a relationship with Jesus now, I would hurt you so bad. <laughs> okay, okay, please don't. But then he said that you were way cuter and less slutty than Ari. Oh my God, that's actually really sweet. Thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> I'd still never fuck you in a million years. Okay. Oh, so you think you can just talk shit about me? Bitch, don't be jealous. Bitch, I don't get jealous of sluts. <laughs> yeah, Ari, I'm not a slut anymore, okay? I have a relationship with God and Jesus now. Is that who told you to sell your ass for an iPod Nano last week? <laughs> Damn, not even a video one? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Face it, bitch. Jesus is a pimp and born-again virgins like you are his army of hoes. <laughs> hey, guys, let's settle down and try to be at least... This escalated immediately. You. Why don't you fuck off and finish last virgin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you have beef with Jeffrey? Sorry, didn't mean to insult your future. I don't know customer. if this was the Do best or the worst time to come right into now? this Bitch, game. Bitch, night to school. Don't even try me. Yeah, right. What are you going to do with that? Stab you and watch the ski pour out? Not if I choke you first. I'll spit in your face. I'll spit in your mouth. I'll like it. <gasps> what is happening? Shh. Will you spit in mine back? I'll bite your bottom lip. <laughs> you fucking Promise to kiss me after? No. No! Help me, Jesus. Help Hello there. Me. Go oh, away, hope you want. What the fuck? Not okay, now. Girls, break it up. Okay, now you stop them. One phone call and I can lock you both into a real rehab program. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really thought I'd seen it all here. Now let me think about sex for the rest of the month. No, yeah, for sure. God, imagine being those girls. Or we get to be kind of fun. What? You don't want to be sex abusive lesbians? <laughs> Fuck no. Why not? Because you'd be doing all the abusing. Oh, like what? Just weird shit? You'd like that got, a cigarette that out of That escalated and, like, so quickly. <laughs> so you want to try it? No. Fine, whatever. But you never told me that Ari girl was so ghetto. Ari's not fucking ghetto. She's like the whitest girl I ever met. <laughs> she had a knife on her. Because she was a Girl Scout. It's just a pocket knife. They don't have pocket mm. knives in the ghetto? Nicole, trust We do, me. actually. She's kiss her brother on the lips white. Hello, girls. We're not talking about <laughs> kissing, are we? Uh, Go no. away! It's all right. I'm your counselor. You can trust me with anything. No, I was just telling her how white some girl is. Now, now, that sounds like it might be name-calling. You remember <laughs> our bullying assembly last year, correct? Why are you, um, here? I, I heard you girls talking about you kissing. Both attended the sexual addiction rehab meeting yesterday and just wanted to follow up with you. Oh, no, it wasn't that deep. We just flirted with a cop. How deep was it then? <laughs> you really get paid to fucking work here, don't you? I'm certainly <laughs> sensing a lot of hormonal tension from the two of you. As always, if you'd like to explore these urges, my office is right around the corner. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Teachers are broke, right? I think yes. so. Why? 
If he has a part-time job as a mall cop, we could really use this to our advantage. No way I'm ever doing that again. <laughs> what if he had a part-time job as security for an MSI concert? I'd practice flirting in the mirror to get in for free. Are there no limits with you? Bitch, you have no limits. You want to put a cigarette out on my neck. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so, are you going I mean, to class yes, this time, she does. or what are you doing? Okay. So, this leads into... GG! As in, get good! I don't know how I could get good at this game, but yeah, so I do my best. Do I ever keep skipping? Is that what... Is the keep skipping what led to um, me becoming a prostitute? I think that's what... That's what that led to. No? Well, then I must not have kept skipping then. Because I do remember doing theater, theater and art class. Or well, art class is what led to becoming a prostitute. What did the keep skipping do? Did I ever do keep skipping? Or was this the one where I was selling drugs? Go try it. Okay. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole. You over here, too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just, like, I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know. These teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no. I like, do remember yeah. this one. I do remember. Okay. I have done that one before. Okay, so let me go back to the main menu. That was the drug seller, yes. Let's see. Okay, so this was this was art well Charity fraud. Yeah, that was this was the yeah, this was the um the drug dealing. Try and steal a ten dollar shirt. Okay. Ten dollar shirt. place always smells like plastic. Hey, how you guys doing today? Now I love it inside. Holy shit, are you skipping too? Hot I topic! My mom forced me to Fuck get yeah! Me. So fucking not straight, I know. Okay, well, wait, how the fuck do you drop out? Uh, it's a lot of paperwork. You thinking about it too? That's okay. Yeah, you're the guy in the PBS commercials they make fun of. <laughs> the tiny wallet commercial? <laughs> yeah, it's like 80% of dropouts, like... I don't know. The TV said you suck, so fuck you. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you guys get paid eight an hour to go to that bitch idiot school? <laughs> wow, you thought that would impress us. Yeah, you're dumb, white, and broke. Shut the fuck up, you albacore-eating bitch. Hey, whoa, <laughs> what are you, you can't talk to customers like that. Apologize, wage slave. God damn it, fine. Sorry. Good. Now, what sizes do you have MSI shirts in right now? The band, uh, I think everything but large. Damn, that's the one size she wears, too. Can you check in the back <laughs> for us? What you see out is what we have, dude. If you don't check right now, I'm gonna tell your manager you didn't say hi to us when we walked in. Fuck, fine. Joke's on you, bitches. I'm just gonna go back and pretend to look. <laughs> okay, grab the small. Let's go. Yeah, I was like, how the fuck do you think I'm a large? Come on. <laughs> How'd you learn how to do that? What do you mean, learn? You can't just take the shit in front of him. Okay, so what's next? Uh, we leave before we get caught. We can't leave now. That was such a rush. Come on, let's go to the food court and steal some Dairy Queen. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> yeah, I guess it'd be pretty hard to jump the counter and fill a cone without spilling it. No, that shit's easy. Why would you risk getting caught over Dairy Queen? Dairy would Queen is a shit. Can, or would the free samples lady chase after us? Literally anywhere but here. Come on. Oh, wow. We got out with the oh, t-shirt. Hey, way too much. There's no way we can run out on the check now. How do fat people eat here? It's like pure sodium. Fuck, answer my own question. You wanted the patty melt. <laughs> Since we're not paying for this either, I figured I'd demo some other part of the menu. It's literally just a burger where your mom forgot to buy buns. Who would voluntarily pay for that? Japanese so butters people. Margarine with butter? You think we got Trody fired today? I don't know. I don't care either, weird. Most of it's our friends really just get jobs to buy Adderall. But he has to like, support himself with that. Yeah. 
Almost like he has to deal with the consequences of his actions or something. Since when do you, of all people, worry about accountability? I don't worry about it for my actions. I'm too smart for consequences. <laughs> one time I feel kind of bad for a guy, because he can't do any of the stupid money jobs like pole dancing. Yeah, if I was dumb as shit, being a stripper would be awesome. Though I'd feel ripped off, because I learned how to read from nothing. What if you're too shy and just work at Hooters? Dude, Hooters is even worse than a club. It's a legalized brothel. It what? really how? is. How do you know this? My cousin works at one. She says half the girls blow dudes for like $300 tips and then wonder why they're getting stalked the next week. That's really specific. That really <laughs> happens. So what's next? <laughs> I think I want to go back to school now. Do, do, do not go to a Hooters. A it is a trap. I'd end up the dick-sucking girl at Hooters. You can just say girl at Hooters. The dick-sucking's implied. Check, please. <laughs> what are you paying for? Just get up and leave. <laughs> Strolling in at noon together. You girls had a bit. Yeah, you don't know that. Is the food at Hooters at least edible? Yes, the food at Hooters at Hooters is actually like it's okay to good. It is okay to good depending on who's working behind working in the kitchen. But you don't you don't go to Hooters for the food. No one goes to Hooters for the food. But you know, like what I saw at a Hooters, like the weirdest fucking thing. I saw a I saw a guy I saw a guy get this bring his girlfriend slash wife to a Hooters. I kid you not. I was walking out of the store. I was walking out of the store. <laughs> I was walking out of the store. <laughs> And a guy and a woman were walking into walking into the restaurant. I do not know why I do not know why any guy would bring a woman into a Hooters. Maybe they were just friends and she was a lesbian or something. I don't I don't know. What was the point? You saw yourself in a mirror. No, I did not have a girlfriend, so that was not me in a mirror. Also, he was way darker than I am, so fuck you. <laughs> but still. Like, what? Oh, anyway. Um, <laughs> the half of it. Not even a quarter, if we're being honest. Well, the sign-in sheet is on the desk. The unexcused column. I think you know it all too well, Nicole. Unexcused. Yeah, we kind of miss class for very true. There's one guy on Twitter who is crazy about Hooters and says it's a family restaurant you should bring your kids to. I'm not sure if he is joking or not. He is definitely joking, Jacob, please. Dramatic reasons. Yeah, trauma has to be one of the excuses. That is what those right? of us in for 2005 would call you. trolling. But today, I think that's your problem. Is being a fucking bitch your problem? Nicole! Excuse me. Oh my god, it was the trauma. I'm so sorry. So why don't you both enlighten me to the source of this trauma that's caused absence after absence? Let's see. Which one of these did I do? I did one of these. I think I did Depression Pity Party. Oh, I did the AIDS? Okay. Oh, I didn't do the AIDS. Give Nicole AIDS, okay? <laughs> Don't say it like that, please. All right. Uh, okay, you're gonna wanna take a seat. I've heard it all, Nicole. Uh, no, you really haven't heard whatever she's about to tell you. Go on. We just came from the doctor, and we, um, we tested positive for HIV. We did? We, we did. And then they told us <laughs> we did. It's positive because we went so long without treatment. We won't get the results till later, though. You both went to get tested together at the same place? Yeah. And where was that? Like the, like the Springfield Clinic. And you expect me to just believe this, shouldn't you? Think about it. <laughs> if you believe us and we're lying, it's just a little prank. 
But if we're telling the truth and you don't believe us, you're gonna have to explain that to the local news. <laughs> and we'll have to explain that to the national news. How our principal made us cry while we're literally dying from AIDS. <laughs> I, I need to see some documentation, girls. Do you realize the odds? How would you even get HIV in high school? We didn't get it in high school. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but we go to a lot of swinger parties. <laughs> <laughs> with homeless people. Homeless <laughs> wow. Yeah. And it's T M I, but I have a unprotected sex fetish, so it all kinda adds up. Yeah, That's not I a have fetish. A sex in general fetish. <laughs> world, That's not what a fetish. Is. Thirty boyfriends has that too. Thirty boyfriends. <laughs> oh yeah. Dirt. When a Dominican construction worker cat calls me, just immediate relationship. Yeah, I love Jacka, but she's a major whore. I don't get paid. So you got your results for HIV? Did the blood work and everything? Yeah, that's what we said. What's your T-cell count? Uh, I, I don't get it. We don't take shop. You don't take shop? Yeah, they use T-cells in shop class. What's that have to do with AIDS? <coughs> it's a T-square, Nicole. Fuck! No, if you know, you know, you know, I didn't know how much we were supposed to say. How the fuck would I know? You said we had AIDS. It all comes out. <laughs> and coincidentally, it fell apart like immediately. You spend your Saturday afternoon or you're expelled. This sucks. <laughs> it fell apart immediately. This really sucks. We're almost set up here, but thank you to everyone for coming to the end of speaking. We have about 10 guests here with their journeys to share, and we hope you can all learn a lot from them. Wait! Why is the speaker black? speaking yet but that is a black guy's voice <laughs> fuck you class of 09 <laughs> i could be at the msi show right now but now i can't just I can't listen to him there say that. don't say we have a that is a black guy <laughs> like she was supposed to believe you had a rolodex of 50 guys it was 30 it was fucking stupid and she didn't ask about t-cells until after you said that 30 guys what are you a public restroom <laughs> whatever why is AIDS such a big it's deal Magic anyway? Johnson. Is it Magic Johnson? Shut your fucking mouth. Huh? Magic Johnson? He's got AIDS of They made the same joke! Magic Johnson? Is that a porn star? <laughs> I don't think so. My dad talks about it a lot. <laughs> you don't think your dad is a male porn star? <laughs> Nicole, I'm already here. I don't need to also have a crisis over whether my dad's gay or not, okay? Hey, did you get an email quiz from Miss Lynn? He does sound a lot like text to Yeah, it was almost late filling it out. Like, it wasn't enough for us to just go. She had to know we were there Holy somehow. Shit. Yeah, but if she wasn't there, how would she know we're telling the truth? She could record the assembly and pay it back joking. later. But then just record the crowd so it shows we went there. Female teachers are fucking insane. Imagine Johnson and the son anything trip. like that. And the male teachers had a pile. How'd you know what I was going to say? I'm noticing a trend. No, vote for Pedro shirts were a trend. <laughs> the other thing's just forever. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to class now. Are you going oh this time? Oh my god. Why? To not get forced to go to an AIDS like assembly Jesus again? That didn't happen because we AIDS. skipped. That happened because we lied about why we skipped. Well, okay. Are you looking for a classroom AIDS. or another excuse right now? <laughs> god, you sound like my mom. Whatever. I don't See you believe later. I'm surprised hey, which allowed you to minute. post that. I got my whole life ahead of me. Doesn't mean I'll waste it talking to you. Oh, totally. But <laughs> I mean, nah, you see, I was asking around and wondered if you wanted to go to the knife collector show, the expo center. Oh, Why Jesus. the fuck would any girl want to go do that with you? No, it's not like a date. It's, uh, but yeah, how are you? <laughs> are you a human text message? Um, uh... Is that the alert that you're typing? Sorry, it's just... <laughs> Kinda hard to talk to you. Good. So what you doing today? Hmm. Do I keep? Well, I feel like I need to keep skipping. It's Megan's boyfriend. He's in theater class. Yes. If it's Megan's, yes, he is in theater class. So let me. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Yes, that is what I'm doing today. I'm drinking milk. 
Okay, so let's put that here. Even though it kind of relates to the other one, but I wonder what the guy from Cody. Fuck me. Is doing right now. Okay, that's why we save. Okay, so that go that goes to that one. Let's see. Is that a dead end for this? Doesn't feel right with the, without the Molotov cocktail after that. I am the milkman, my milk is delicious. Let's see. That might just go into one of those other scenes. I've done both of those. Let's go all the way back and hang out at home. You, you want to watch Mythbusters? This is like a really bad day. <laughs> at least we're not in school. That's a horrible comeback for that. What are you going to do when you're 25 and working at Outback Steakhouse? Well, at least we're not in school. I would never fucking work at Steakback Outhouse. <laughs> that doesn't change the fact we're stuck here without gas money and your mom only pays for the basic cable package. Yeah, so discovery's done on that. We literally just left school to avoid men who go, This is true. Where the fuck would I watch a show about them? <laughs> I heard every other episode they accidentally show you a new way to make crystal meth. Did they ever do one on cigarettes causing cancer? They if did cigarettes not, are in actually. Star Wars, then maybe. Can I smoke in here? You can. I don't know if you should. My mom might get mad. Okay, well, you hate your mom and your brother and anyone else you mentioned to me, so just let me smoke in here. Holy shit, calm down. You've only been smoking for like a year. How are you addicted? Have an alternative? My mom has a bunch of old prescriptions in her medicine cabinet. You want to crush them up and see what they do to us? Wow, snorting your mom's pills. We'd be like the guy in Scarface if you ran a nursing home. <laughs> this might be a stupid question, but what even is Scarface? It's like a drug dealer movie. I don't know. The ESL kids won't stop wearing shirts of it. I, I wonder if there's an ending when Nicole and Jack are becoming that toxic sounds lesbian so lovers. Awesome for a guy who wears I really jeans. want What that. are we doing, Nicole? And don't say sobriety. Oh, yes, okay, this is something, is, is this something new? No, okay, um, I think we've done, I think we've done Mom's Pills before. I think so, I think so. Hold on, let me make a new line. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here. I think the pills could be a lot more fun than you're expecting. How's that? My mom has problems, dude. And she's old, so the doctor just writes her whatever she wants. <laughs> what, are we going to snort polio meds? <laughs> we have a vaccine for that. Not when she was born. Look, she goes to a new psychiatrist after every divorce, and they keep giving her the good shit because she doesn't move over the medical history. Oh, that's a nice strategy. My mom only gets the daily Prozac shit after they cut her off from Valium. She should get divorced. New health plan, new psychiatrist. My mom hasn't worked in like 20 years. I don't know if she could even function without works my dad. Anymore. Can't she just find a new guy? My mom does. You haven't seen my mom, Nicole. She stopped trying like 10 years ago. I don't think you can ever come back from that. Yeah, after the mom genes, it's just over. Tragic. Thanks. Now I have to think about how sad my mom is. This is why I'll never get married. <laughs> this is why we should do those pills now. Come on. <laughs> Why does it hit so fast so when you start it? Oh, Doesn't Vicodin always hit like that? I never tried it. No, it takes like an hour when you take it like a pill. Wow. Prescriptions are just dope on layaway. A line of it does a little at first, but then just creeps up fast. Here, try it. Oh my god, I'm scared. Is my nose gonna bleed? Only if you do it like a million times. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How does it have a like this? She doesn't. What if she needs these later? 
It's easy to get more. She can make an appointment and pay like two bucks for a whole bottle. They won't cut her off or anything? Yeah, that's the one perk to being old. If you want enough drugs to shut off your emotions, they won't assume you'll try to OD or anything. Yeah, they said that when I wanted sleeping pills. It's so bullshit. Like, even if you wanted to do that, it's like... Like... Like, none of their business... Shit, it's really hitting now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel it too. It's like Percocet, but not as good. You could say that about any painkiller. You want to watch Mythbusters now? I am nowhere near fucked up enough to watch Mythbusters. Mythbusters is the shit. left to fix that. Why the fuck do you want to watch Mythbusters so bad? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's the only thing on when I skip. Uh, okay, give me something good. You want to try a mystery pill? <laughs> I'm not even looking at the label, but I'll crush it up. Mystery pill? What if it hurts me? Dude, you're vibed up. You're good. All right, fuck it. Line it up. This is <laughs> how these go. Oh, oh my god, what did I do? I don't feel anything. Really? She always has the strongest shit. What if it's just a Claritin or something? No, my mom barely has allergies. Let me read the label. Metroprolol. Generic for beta lock. Beta lock? It should say what it's for, right? It says use for high blood pressure or tightness of chest. You had me do a line of beta blocker. Oh god, it's hitting. There's a name for it? How'd you know that? The chemistry teacher told us about it last year. Uh -oh. Miss that class. That was the last pill, too. My mom must take a lot of these. I'm like deflating in my own body. How long up is your mom to always need these? You don't really talk about that. She just comes home and yells at me. <laughs> I would yell at you too. Why the fuck didn't you tell me it was a beta blocker? It was a I mystery think pill. I the point of a mystery pill. <laughs> I took it with Vicodin, Nicole. Call 911. Dude, you're gonna be fine. Worst case scenario, you pass out. Why do I feel like a guy's told me that before? Chest <laughs> pains. Oh God. I just gotta get up these stairs. The women at Ross are so goddamn difficult. <laughs> Oh, no. Damn, Jekka, you're out cold. Nicole, why are you home? And why is all my medicine on the floor? Oh, shit. Hey, Mom. Um, we were feeling sick, so we took a bunch of your pills. I don't have time for excuses. Just where's my beta lock? Oh, God. Um, what do you need that for? Everyone's like about to die. Why is the bottle empty? Oh, my fucking God. Uh, Jekka was having a heart attack, too. Oh, God. Everything's getting dark. Call 911. Okay, Mom. Mom? Oh. What the fuck? Mom? Fuck, where's the phone? <laughs> so, Bud. how was the funeral? <laughs> when is expected? Meaning? My aunt pulled out a gun. Weird. That's something <laughs> not the most shocking thing you've told me in the last week. <laughs> yeah, so there's this huge life insurance payout, all the alimony is going to me and my brother, tons of paperwork, and none of it's worth any of the hassle. Because <laughs> you can never replace her with money? No, there's a fucking trust fund, and I can't touch it till I'm 35. All we get is a monthly stipend. I can't move to L.A. or anything. <laughs> Nicole, this might be a weird question, but, uh... Did you cry at all after your mom died? Of course she did. No, but I used it to get out of some stuff. Does that count? It, you seriously need to be on something. <laughs> I am. Something other than Xanax and Percocet. I have Vicodin too now. Do you really not get how sad this is, or are you just fucking with me? Can it be both? Again, like, I'm sorry it went down like that. I was passed out, and I couldn't really... It's probably a lot to handle. Yeah, no shit. That's what I mean. Shouldn't you go to a therapist or talk to someone? Is this going to be a thing where you break down and cry for me, or are you doing this to make you feel better? Jekka. Jekka is my favorite character because she's just the right amount of insanity, but she has those moments of clarity. Without. Without, without, without Jekka, Nicole would just be off the rails at all times like this this store would be just out there the entire time i say that but there was there was the point where jekka became a legit white supremacist and the code didn't so take what i said with a grain of salt but for the most part Jekka does Jack has a line, Nicole has no line. That's a good way of putting it, yes. <laughs> Jekka's line is like 
far away from where most people's lines are, but Nicole's line just does not exist at all. Nicole has absolutely no line. That is correct. Can it be both? I'm going to class where you headed, Nicole. Oh, so... Mom is just dead now. <laughs> um, okay, so where... I can't go to art class. Interesting. I can go to... I can keep skipping or I can go to theater class. Let's see. I want to save this here. Do keep skipping and choose depression as an excuse? Okay. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole. You over here, too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just, like, I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just it's had been a great so we'll watch this again. Like, I don't know. These teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no, like, yeah, um, hey, I like your shirt. Okay. It looks kind of deep. It is there like any Take that depression! Like, Take that depression, that's what we're about to do. I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh well, hold up. I'm not really like a bad religion fan. I only like maybe like four of their albums. That makes you a fan. Now. Yeah, but I mean it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, theater girl. Shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, it's like mega fucking cool. Is there like a thing with it, like a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I, I got time. I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was <laughs> custom made, and it was basically a whole story on my journey with, like, finding my... <laughs> they should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. Aww. And if he loses, he's gotta like take his shirt off at the pool or something. He was so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari, what is it? Wait, what? I didn't. Bitch, do not play this game with me. <laughs> what game? I was just sitting here talking. Shut the fuck up. What is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due, and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. That's they do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last 10 minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two day project or a three week project? What does her shirt three say? Weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Sick Did you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Is because that sure I air that? generated? If too many kids start saying it, it won't Sick work it. anymore. All right, Sick I'm just going to go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. How would I pitch a game show to Spike TV? You there, hold it. Here we go. Wait. Oh, how could you run this fast? Don't make me call security. Hey, you dropped something. Whoa, that is a shit ton of cocaine. I wonder if it's real. You just wait till I call your parents. <laughs> shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh, I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way to the bathroom? It's what do you foyer. mean bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you can ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. <laughs> and as I hope you remembered, today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. 
Oh my god. Nicole! So nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously? I guess. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? <laughs> what yes. did I say about the exactly F word in this yes. class? Sorry, bitch. Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I take it's $200? They're keeping my safe, holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, wow. Nicole. You that was so in low. tune with the needs of the people. That's how about your cause? That's like settle, bro. Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who? Depression is an excuse, I've been told to say. About that. See, um... I've sort of been going through a lot right now. Of course. Let's hear it. Let's hear another marvelous excuse from Nicole. I've been diagnosed with clinical depression, so I haven't really gotten out of bed much lately. Depression? Yeah. It's from all the PTSD and some other letters. It's <laughs> that bad? You couldn't at least think of a community service sponsor? Well, I tried a couple times, but when I did, I just started... Cutting myself. <gasps> Here we go. Um, because I'm a burden on everyone around me, and the community would be better off if I was dead. <gasps> if I was oh, dead. Geez. That's really not good. Oh, no. A am I bringing the mood down? Sorry. If anyone has a gun I could borrow, I could just take <laughs> care of myself now. A gun? Shit, so many trigger home. warnings. Oh God, do you need someone to talk to? No, I don't want to bother anybody. Unless it's for a gun I can use to blow mm. my worthless fucking she brains out. <laughs> okay, Nicole, this is not for the classroom. I think you need to go to the counselor's office. Go talk to the pedophile right quick. community service sponsor? We can worry about that later. Just go to the counselor. Okay. And, and you're sure you don't want me to kill myself? Because I will if you want me to. I'll fire it right in my mouth. My nose will bleed like the chocolate river from Willy Wonka. <laughs> no, please don't kill yourself. Right, Mr. Katz? Well, <laughs> no, no, we don't want you to kill yourself. Just go. Pose. <laughs> oh, Nicole, come in. Your civics teacher told me you'd be visiting. Have a seat. Sure, but I thought these were one-on-one -on -one sessions. Mr. Cats, though. Normally they are. Do you However, want me to kill I thought myself? I'd try something well... different, given you're both here for the same reason. What reason? Depression. You bitch. Nicole, <laughs> I understand you're going through a lot right now, but that's no excuse for lashing out at Ari. Sorry, won't happen again. Not like she did anything to deserve it, right? Ari, using an I statement, please tell Nicole how that made you feel. This'll be good. Um, I feel like you might not be considering my own situation, too. That's very good. Thank you. Now, Nicole... Please respond using your own I feel statement. Go ahead. Ari, I feel you're a conniving fucking bitch. How's that? <laughs> this is going to be a long session. <laughs> Nicole, wait. What? Need another excuse to steal? No. Well, no, it's just... What if I wasn't making it up? Making what up? At first, I went to class thinking I'd lie about the depression, but after talking to the counselor, I'm starting to realize there's something I actually am depressed about. Okay, cool. Talk to him about it. I can't. All right, fine. Fuck off then. Bye. Wait. What is it? <laughs> something about me. Something I really can't let him know or he'll tell my parents. What are you, gay? What? How did you know? I've never told anyone that. Dude, look at your hair dye. You're either gay or colorblind. <laughs> but are you okay with that? I mean, the color I doesn't use give that a color, shit about do what anything. You want. Not that. I meant the other thing. Are we in Nebraska now? No one cares if you're gay anymore. Are you sure? In this 2008, is the most yes. This conversation I've ever had. In 2024, even more so. She says it's horrible. It's West Virginia. What the fuck isn't horrible there? So around here. 
you really think no one will care if I'm gay? Maybe like a weirdo or two, but everybody's gonna be like, look at that asshole. We're in a white ass high school 10 minutes from the capital. This is such a non-issue now. But gay marriage isn't legal here. Were you looking to get married? I don't know if I'd ever want to get married. So why do you care? And by the time you do, it'll probably be legal anyway. Actually, <laughs> or government. Ari, you're white. You could be triple gay and the government's still gonna worry about you. You really think so? Oh, hey, Nicole, you still hanging around out here? Did I tell you that's a cool shirt, by the way? Look, hey, Crispin, you want to hear something about Ari? Oh my God, don't. Ari's gay. Well, she can't, she's coming out she's the closet gay. for you. Yeah, like lesbian gay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Is, is there like another part to the story or? Go down to the cafeteria, you'll find it there. Oh, it's like a mystery. That's pretty cool. You're so creative inside. <laughs> All this time, I thought this would be the end of my life. If you lived in Texas, it would be, but this is civilization, dude. <laughs> well, I'll see you around somewhere. And thanks a lot, Nicole. I feel kind of free for once. Fuck off, bitch. You still stole my excuse. Now I have to think of a new one. <laughs> you didn't How is this going to go Nicole. terribly? I never said that, but I started using depression as an excuse at that school. No one was doing that before me, and now that she took it, everybody's going to water it down. Do you feel like you're getting to a point where the excuses for not doing homework are more effort than the homework itself? I don't know. Hold on. What's another mental disorder I could pull off? Quite a few. <laughs> yeah, but whatever I pick, I'll need to research at least a little, right? No, you don't. Mental illnesses are like horoscopes. You just look up symptoms that loosely fit your personality. Holy shit, where's my laptop? Oh, wait! Schizophrenia. Good choice. <laughs> no, I have to tell you what happened after the counselor. Ari came out of the closet to me in the middle of the hallway. Closet with a glass door? I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, that's what I said. She thought it was like this huge deal. Well, wouldn't it be? What if someone homophobic knew? Yeah, who? I don't know anyone at our school who wouldn't vote for Obama. Holy shit, I can't think of anyone either. This area is like so Democrat, you're just preaching to the choir. Yeah, no, last year this gay guy sat at our table and was immediately the most popular person there. Because he was gay? I mean, kinda. He quoted- Wait, isn't the, um, the, the, the slutty girl who, um, the one with the ponytail that always has her hands on her head, that girl, she's like super religious now. That's how this could go wrong. Mr. White would vote for Obama, I imagine. But I think he exploded, he exploded in this timeline. Did <laughs> Amanda show a lot? I guess he was funny. And no one gave him shit or anything? I mean, oh God. Tyler came up Let's to not talk us, about the Amanda show like, right now. Problem. That's exactly what I told her. Well, as long as she's happy, like... Whatever, right? I'm so happy for her. So happy I have to see her ass every week with the counselor now. And I wanted to say, Ari, how proud I am. She's that wearing a rainbow! To terms with your sexual orientation <laughs> and openly share it with the rest of your peers. Thanks. It's just kind of liberating to tell someone I'm gay, you know? Every chance you get. Truthfully, you are so brave. Liberal high school, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Everyone's mm -hmm. been so supportive. I can't believe there was a time when being gay was so hated. You believed it last week. Yes, <laughs> yes. Times have certainly changed. Isn't this supposed to be a group therapy? Is there something you'd like to add, Nicole? Just thought it'd be worth the time to spotlight the progress we've made as a society. <laughs> Though we still have a very long way to go in terms of sexual identity and acceptance. What's left to accept? Transsexuals, for one. <laughs> but also the rather silly notion of controlling other petty qualities of our partners beyond gender. Financial background, race, religion, and even age. Oh, God. Age? Why would someone have Hold a problem thought, age if they're legal? But isn't that the problem? Letting legality control love? <laughs> The state law says you can't hold marry that thought, Mayor. Hold but it. Does hold that mean it. It's wrong for you to love her? No, but I'm pretty sure age is one we, you know. Society creates laws, <laughs> but laws didn't create society. I hope both of you girls realize we should never be critical of anyone's preference, regardless of what your parents or TV says. Like gender, <laughs> age is just another thing on your driver's license. 
Um, how do you feel about that, Nicole? Do you have an ideal sleep I feel like he wants to fuck children. Yeah, but that's not true, right, Counselor? Like, you wouldn't date a 15-year-old, right? Would you date a 15-year-old? <laughs> Maybe, but I'm only 17, so it's not illegal. I just said, going by legality means you'd be in the wrong, too. Did you say in the wrong, too? No, it wouldn't! you wouldn't date a 15-year-old? I never said that. No, it wouldn't! I'm open-minded Because she's still a minor! The romantic value of anyone of any age. You're trying to sell a teenage girl on pedophilia <laughs> using her own gayness as leverage. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Fuck your therapy. Your tennis pet. If I love 15 looking <laughs> There you go, Ari. She's just having a personal moment and needs her space. <laughs> uh, okay. By the hey, way, I didn't want to make you more jealous, but your hair looks absolutely beautiful today. Actually, I'm going to go check on her to make sure she doesn't uh, kill herself. Nicole, wait. Mm -hmm. Wasn't walking. That wasn't like a normal thing, was it? No, him campaigning for that is a pretty normal thing around here. You didn't know? Not that. I meant you sticking up for someone like that. I never really seen you do that. That's true. Sticking up for who? Me. Okay. I I really appreciate it. Is that where we're going with uh, this? Huh? This is um Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. Kinda is. Nicole, I've, um, since we started doing this group counseling together, oh, I've actually no. kind of been thinking a lot about Ari, it. no! Not in a weird way, right? She's Nicole, not the girl for you! In a weird way. Oh my god. I really, really this like you. This is the worst Ari, possible girl really you can pick! Too, and what you said in there, and your whole look, and I think I'm in love with you. In love with someone you know for two weeks. Yeah, you're real stupid. <laughs> You're not like all sketched out now, are you? Don't like, do it, Ari! A man saying this. How is it different with a man? Men kind of have a tendency to rape and murder. I'm not sure if you've seen a TV in the last forever. Gay okay, Nicole doesn't exist. Like she can't everyone. hurt you. You, um, do you like girls too? I already know. I already know which one we're picking, but <laughs> uh, try lesbianism before college. Do you want me to? Y yeah. Become oh, gay. Wow. Extremely. <laughs> Reject straight. Sure return to gay. If you say no, where do you cut? On my upper thigh, so my parents don't see. Damn, that's actually kind of hot. It is? Yeah, because you look too normal to cut, so it's like a fun surprise. Are you messing with me? No, seriously, it's like a cheerleader with a nipple piercing. Ooh, wild side. Really? Do you cut too? Duh, but it's not hot when I do it. It's like, look at that trashy hoe. I bet she cuts herself. I don't think you're trashy. I don't think I should have an F in gym. Shit happens, though. <laughs> so, if you think I am hot, would you want to start dating? All right, abusive uh, lesbian yeah, room. I guess I'll try it. <laughs> really? It'd be really funny if I said no right now. Please don't do that to me. No, okay, I'll do it. You have a car to take us out? Yeah, my mom's old Camry, and only three of the windows are broken. <laughs> Does it have power seats? No, they're just manual. Ugh. Oh, but I could borrow my dad's Lexus if it makes a difference. <laughs> it makes a difference. Okay, I'll see you after school. Oh my I god. Bye. The abuse is already starting! They haven't even Why touched each other yet. Before? It's like the library, but all the books are new. Do I look like a bitch who reads? Not even Harry Potter? It's like coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? Hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read here, too. You had to stop in the graphic novel section. Hmm. Do you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, she's not my friend. Manga! She's my girlfriend. <laughs> girlfriend? But you're... Hold on. Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? Th though, it's good to be yourself. 
You guys are just a little different, like me. We are nothing like you. And why is that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're going to get fucked up on anime and make book. out. Hey, that was completely uncalled for. Wow, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But I have done that to my manga. Is she Ari turning, turning, like in, wrong, though. Oh, turning into Shouldn't Nicole? I've seen him around before. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I started a YouTube channel. You, you guys want to see Don't it? Don't do no, it, Jeffrey. Go whippets. I never tried whippets. Do they taste bad? <gasps> and then the counselor got so weird, he called my mom and told her I might have schizophrenia if I ever mentioned he was a pedophile. And what'd your mom say? She believed him. We had like an hour-long fight over it. Right, honey? Right, honey? Dude, I said don't call me that in public. Oh, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want it in private, why would I want it in public? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries and everything. She, oh, I didn't no. I a marriage counselor. What's up, queers? Nicole. Dude, he's not going to do anything. How long you guys were dating now? Terrible you YouTube apology. Why do you care? <laughs> sorry to hose like you always Probably have to do. Probably like two years Find from now. Find one other person in this room one. who cares. No one's falling for this bullshit like you think they are. Hey, Hunter. What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? Uh, Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay? <laughs> Dude, fuck Obama. He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. Why would he vote for McCain? He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. Oh. <laughs> Well, sorry, dude, but your dad sounds really fucking gay voting for McCain. What? No, no, you're gay. Eventful. Thanks for taking care of that, Nicole. No problem. Hey, could you go to the longest pizza line and get me four slices? A little slices? bit of a tangent. Well, sure, anything. Obama didn't legalize okay. gay marriage across the Why country until going? the last year of his you presidency, me but on the cheek first? yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, I'll be right back. Ugh, disgusting. What, are you straight again? No, I have dollar store foundation on my lips now. <laughs> it's gonna double as baby formula in Pakistan. She's <laughs> your girlfriend. So? So take your bitch to Ulta. No, already trying to limit the exposure. That's why I sent her to the pizza line. But you haven't even dated for a week yet. Mm -hmm. Fucked up, right? Did she do something wrong? She just gets really awkward when you're around her for long enough. Awkward how? Okay, so she was in my room while I was changing real quick. Then she saw one nipple for like a second and was all, oh my god, I'm sorry I look, but you're so sexy, you're so sexy, I'm so lucky to have you, like, bitch, fuck off. I've seen her with guys before, <laughs> I don't know why she's acting like such a virgin. She's probably just a virgin with girls, it's like a higher echelon. But if she's so gay, why was she even with guys in the first place? Because hooking up with a guy is the easiest thing on earth. True. Even if a girl's gay, she's gonna try it at least once or nine times. Wait, so first time you're curious, second time you're bored, and ninth time you're just trying to keep the lights on. <laughs> and I just want to see how cool it is that you guys are so open about this. Right? Yeah. I kissed a girl at a party once, and I totally get the appeal. Lesbianism is just so, so bold. Have you thought about, like, going full time with it? You mean, like, hey, being married? Yeah. Join the Fuck circle. That, then I wouldn't have a rich husband. Isn't there more to a relationship than money, though? Maybe. <laughs> I see you guys ride around in that beat up Camry, and it's cute, but I'd never cuff a broke bitch. What happened to the Lexus? I don't believe her. Yeah, these by curious hoes? Fuck them. By the way, did you want to. Hold on, I'm replying to something. Okay. That's some furious Are you texting. done? No, shut up, hold on. Nicole, I, I don't really like it when you tell me to shut Just up. Just fuck off, okay? You were Make it with the fox dog dog It's fucking your brain up. <laughs> oh, shit. I, um, hey, listen, uh... I'm really sorry for not respecting your boundaries. I promise it won't happen again. <laughs> oh. What? I was totally in the wrong. You had every right to say that. Well, as long as you're sorry, you dumb bitch i know i'm a dumb bitch i'm sorry i love you <laughs> i think i'm starting to love you too nicole smallville dude smallville's for straight people who watches that shit you were straight three weeks ago yeah and i didn't watch it then either guess it's just universally bad i saw a couple episodes once it was okay was anyone asking you um no just checking Anyway, oh I was going by lunch God. today, but the lines are like so long. It's probably spicy chicken sandwich day. Nicole's the wow. worst girlfriend. Ari, get us the chicken sandwiches. I'll pay you back. But the line's going to take forever. Can we just... Don't you love me? <laughs> okay, I'll go. Cool. Yeah, and get me two if they have enough. They're big. You going to eat two? One for now, one for when I'm depressed. All right, you got all that? Be right back. 
You're forgetting something. Oh, right. Sorry. Mwah. Good girl. Don't make me ask again. I know. I love you. That's nice. <laughs> what the fuck? No, that's her problem, right? No, what the fuck did you do to her? She's like your pet now. Yeah. That's so you know okay. how I wanted out of the relationship? The what I thought would be more fun than breaking up was just seeing what I could get away with. Get away with what? Dude, like everything so far. I'll literally call her a bitch to her face and she'll just apologize and kiss me on the cheek. It's such a power trip. Uh, it sounds like abuse. I get that. Jacka. I don't care who the IRS sends. I am not awesome. paying taxes. I'm not paying taxes. You know why you're getting away with it, right? Jacka. Oh, the the voice of reason. Your only option. So you're taking advantage of the fact the only lesbian in school knows there aren't any other lesbians to date here. She's basically stuck with whatever you want to put her through. She can break up anytime she wants. She's not stuck with anything. Okay, so she breaks up to move on to who? The only girl willing to date her is her abusive ex-girlfriend. And? No offense, but you're like an evil fucking bitch. No, okay. <laughs> if you're so high and mighty about it, why don't you tell her everything you just told me? The dynamic, the game, everything. I don't know her like that. Awkward, ew. If only life was like TV, where friends spill their hearts out to people they barely know. You probably don't even watch anything good. You watch Smallville. You're evil. You're friends with someone who's evil. You're friends with someone who watches Smallville. Holy shit, don't say it that way. <laughs> Again, I apologize for the misunderstanding we had last time the two of you came in here. I would never want to be mistaken for an abuser. I can assure you that. I don't uh -huh. abuse children. Yes, I love anyway. them. Nicole. It's been a while since we've chatted. What's going on with you? What's going on with me? Yes, if you'd care to share with us. What the hell do I say to that? A variety of things. You could speak about what you did over the weekend or something that's caught your interest lately. Ari and I are here to listen. Okay, well, I heard Kanye West just got out of jail. Mm -hmm. Really? No offense, but you're more? evil. Um... He was in jail, and then he wasn't in jail. That is what so Kanye does. So why was he in jail in the first place? He broke somebody's camera, and now his new album's delayed or something. A new album? Do you think it'll be as good as his last album? No. Why are you pretending like you know what I'm talking <laughs> about? I'm not pretending. Just having a conversation. Uh, name one Kanye West song. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. What are some of your favorites? Dude, you're so fucking gay. Nicole, you know that word <laughs> on this campus. I'm gay he now, waiting. I can say it. The F word. But the homophobic one's fine then. Well, out of respect <laughs> to Ari here, I wouldn't say that's fine either. Ari, how does that make you feel? Well, actually, I actually wanted to ask something. When you said we mistook you for an abuser. Yes, go on. Like, how? Y you weren't violent or anything. I don't get it. Abuse can come in many forms. Oh my Not god. Just violence or physical assault. It could be psychological, emotional, financial, anything that asserts control over another person. Like, is the pedophile gonna start talking sense? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I knew from the beginning, I knew, I knew from the beginning that there were no good people in this story because of what it is, but oh my god. <laughs> How you want to molest kids? I think they call it sexual abuse. Nicole, what did I say? Something about fucking kids? That's it! This session is over! I'm sorry, but you'll both have to come back at a later time when you learn how to behave yourselves. But I didn't... Out! Finally, fuck. He's like the guy in every sitcom's pedophile episode. Every sitcom has a pedophile episode? <laughs> yeah, where the kids learn a lesson or whatever. Oh, what? yeah. Nicole? What? Could I ask you something? No, sorry. I don't have any more kisses today. The kiss factory's closed. Somebody died. No, it wasn't about that. It was... Uh... Why are you dating me? Why am I dating you? Why am I doing anything? I don't know. It's just, I was thinking about mm -hmm. what the counselor said in there. Dude, your shirt isn't see-through. He's just a pervert. Well, no, that's a way bigger problem, but <laughs> I'm just talking about us right now. What about us? I'm just thinking, like, what we've been for the last couple weeks. You mean awesome? 
may be awesome for you, which is good, but what he said about how abuse works, it, it kind of made me worried. So I'm abusing you? Uh, I don't know. If you do, I don't think you mean to. When have I ever hit she you or anything? She definitely means you to. You haven't, but the emotional abuse and how it controls. You're really putting weight into what the fuck he says? He's a counselor. He knows about this stuff. I'm your girlfriend. I pay for your five guys. He wants to put his dick in a child. How am I getting outclassed here? No, I always have to pay when we go to five guys. <laughs> okay, well, your dad drives a Lexus. Don't worry about it. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> how are you going to let our freak fucking counselor put all these ideas in your head? Nicole, I've had these ideas for a while. All he did was give me the words to tell you. Tell me what? I don't think we should see each other anymore. So I'm losing my girlfriend because of the pedophile counselor? Yes. I'm sorry, Nicole. Exactly that, Nicole. I got dumped before the counselor got reported. <laughs> well, I'm going to go home and kill myself. <laughs> One month later. Is Dustop the same high as Whippets? Stand never tried up for yourself, time. Ari. Really? Why is that surprising? <laughs> Oh, wait. What's that? What if he just wants to sell you a new computer? <laughs> With his hand on my ass? Okay. <laughs> Don't wait on that detail. You don't complain when the guy at Paxson does it. Because the guy at Paxson can get me something I actually want. I'm not going to make out the manager for a free now. pencil case. Are you yeah, saying you made out likely. with the guy at Paxson? You're gay, right? Been going down down from the cold bitch, for a not while. gay anymore. Oh my god, I forgot. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. No, it's okay. I'm over it. Are you sure? Didn't you, like, try killing yourself over it? Honestly, not really. Like, I got in a tub, caught a little, and the water was really nice and warm, and... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I get that. Oh shit, she's coming over here. What? Why? Hey, Nicole. Hi. I just wanted to talk a little again, see how you were doing. You haven't showed up to the group depression counseling in a while. Yeah, I sort of quit that. I figured it would be awkward and everything. Kind of like this. Sorry, I know. I just worry a lot. Uh, are you trying to get back together again? I don't get it. Yeah, uh... That's not exactly an option for me anymore. Hey, Ari, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just wrapping up here. Who's this? Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so Megan is just always going to get left out. This is my boyfriend, Hunter. We've been dating for a couple weeks now. Hey. What the fuck? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about Staples. The store? Long story. Ari, I gotta get back, <laughs> but your tray is at the table for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Snookums. Who the fuck says Snookums? What was that? Oh, sorry. What I said was, I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this eventually. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. What the fuck? What Are you the thinking fuck? about Staples? <laughs> no, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is, I still love everything about girls. I love how they talk, how they laugh, how they use moisturizer, how they do makeup. Yes, all those how things. how girls do their hair, how they smell nice, how they don't wear the same thing every day. And I really love how they hold your hand and how it feels when they kiss you back. Dating you helped me find the words for that, Nicole. Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like... Even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. And so the month we had together made me realize something else. Realize what? I realize that guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> you bullied a gay girl into being She's not straight now. She's just going to be miserable for the rest of her life. Big difference. Are you seriously not getting how bad this is? How bad what is? You bullying a gay girl into being straight? I didn't bully her. I was just abusive while dating her. What's that's the difference? The One's homophobic, the, the other's just regular bad. So you get how bad this is then? Bitch, you watch Smallville. Do you get how bad that is? That's not going to work this time, Nicole. What the fuck is this? Why do you even care? 
Whatever. Whatever what? Are we not friends anymore? Well, I wouldn't want you as an enemy. Holy shit. No, explain to me how this is any more awful than anything I usually do. Because usually you do it to men? I'm like, was that overboard? And you always say he'll end up a rapist or pedophile anyway. But she's a teenage girl, Nicole. She is a gay, codependent teenage girl, as if it wasn't hard enough. What's your excuse this time? That bitch stole my depression idea. Fuck her. You should have said nothing. <laughs> wow. We lost Checker again. Do you ever feel guilty for just wondering if you should feel guilty? She poured her heart out again and again over how she felt about me, but it's like... We lost Jekka again! I it's hot she cuts herself, and I wasn't lying, but am I really the one here? Going by Jekka's bitch morality, abusing her was a good thing. Figured it out sooner than later, right? But then you gotta ask, would you rather be alone, or have a hot, twisted bitch who demeans you in public but gives amazing head? These are the real questions that plague society. I would rather be I alone. It's like that for the other um, okay. physically bisexual, mentally gay girls. Talking with straight guys must be so fucking weird for them. They're both worried about what girls are thinking. Both go into depressive fits when a girl won't text them back. They experience the same dating dynamics, and Check yet they will never the bond over it. Because the guy will say, well, if you're sad and lonely, I'm here. And she'll go, I'm actually more gay than bi. And then he's like, all right, bitch, fuck you then. I guess you don't know how it feels. I'm not saying I've seen it, but it's totally possible. Did I have a moral with this? Fuck. <laughs> that was the moral. New message. <laughs> You're already gay one. You're. <laughs> Why is Ari the only one that I have whose name I've saved on my phone? Every time I miss you, I remind myself it's exclusively for the sex. I can pay for that, so bitch, you're not priceless, not even close. Oh, heart. P.S. Call me. Call me for friends with benefits. Sorry, high as fuck right now. Okay, so. Ari, you did not learn your fucking lesson. Jesus fucking Christ. Let it go! Please, get yourself a pocket pussy and slap it against your vagina. Fuck me. All right. Anyway, <laughs> on, to, on to another another possibility. Um, should I continue or should I go to new game? Arya's a doormat. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ari, please. Not to make Ari cry. Should we? Yeah, let's make a gay girl cry. <laughs> Since we have learned nothing. Oh, this shit's fun. Fun why? You don't think it's weird to tell a girl you love her and then ask if she's gay? I... I guess I wasn't thinking. I don't know. So let's say I said yes, right? If you were my girlfriend, what would you do for me? I don't know. Anything you want? That anything? tracks. Damn. So any depraved ass shit you're just down for. For you? Yeah. Could I choke you while we make out? If you want. Could I smack the shit out of you in public? Yes, please. Ah, self-esteem. Ari! No, not your self-esteem. My self-esteem is through the roof right now. How come? Because now that a girl wants me this bad, I'm like universally hot now. But you don't... Yeah, not really. Sorry. Not there yet. Oh. Look, you're probably better off. It doesn't feel like I'm better off. Speaking no, you're of definitely off, better off. You're not gonna off. off yourself over this, are you? Because if you do, will you leave me your eye touch? Why the fuck would I give my eye touch to a girl rejecting me? Sorry, it works with guys, never mind. Does this feel like a hole in your chest or what? I feel like I'm gonna be alone forever. I don't know any girl who's gay here. You could find out. How? Sex to pick of yourself to every straight girl you know. One of them's bound to be in the closet. Oh! Not, church girl! Forward it to their boyfriends. He'll text back like, haha, what an idiot, but the picture will absolutely go in the rotation. Rotation for what? Look, I gotta go. Just forget what I said. Good luck, excuse stealer. Bitch. <laughs> Do you like date movie? Is that the parody movie? 
Yeah, the one with the milkshake song. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I thought so too, but I was trying to watch it online and the movie website said it was three out of 10 stars. What? It wasn't that bad. I know. I tried clicking nine stars to bump it up and it said I had to sign in. Did you? Who the fuck has time for that shit? I just wanted to watch the movie again. <laughs> huh. That means all the opinions on the internet are only from weirdos with enough time to create an account. I know, it's so Pretty dumb. Much. Like maybe if you fucked a bitch, you'd know a good movie when you see one. Are you saying that hating date movie makes you a virgin? I mean, basically. I could get behind that. But no, so I go on the rest of the site, like, what did they think's a good movie? And all their nine-star movies are so boring. Have you seen The Godfather? Oh my I've god. Heard of it. The my Barbie dad movie. made me watch it. I fell asleep. How is that a nine? What else was high? Uh, there was American History X, but I haven't seen it. That one's cool. Kind of long, though. What's it about? A racist guy. You like a movie about a racist guy? It was like a whole moral whatever. Weird Christian bitch. <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, I don't know where he got that. <laughs> but so another movie was... Oh, look who it is. It's the school bigot. What? Don't play dumb. Oh we my heard God. what you said. And we heard what you did to Ari. You'll really reject a gay girl then have the nerve to say no one's homophobic here? Oh, so now conversations are worth broadcasting? I only mentioned it to one person. I didn't think it'd be a thing. Ari told people too. You're sick, Nicole. Pretending <laughs> there isn't bigotry here. It must be nice to ignore it. What, are you gay? No. Then fuck off. You don't need to be gay to fight homophobia. I never said she can't be gay. I said no one here would hate her for being gay. Indifference is as bad as participation. What the fuck did that have to do with what I just said? Do you just have a list of sayings memorized? Actually, we have a list of 500 signatures. 500 signatures in favor of expelling you for gay bashing Ari. Damn, that's a lot. When the hell did you get 500 signatures? Over the last two days. And I think it's safe here. to say the people have spoken. Everyone we went up to immediately signed to fight homophobia. Okay, kind of proving my point. What point? That you hate gay people? If there's such a mass homophobia problem at the school, how'd you get 500 signatures with no pushback at all? Uh, so ignorant. The GSA club weeps for you. Yeah, I don't think you're ready for a conversation about this. Come on, let's get mm. more signatures. Homophobic? Come on, man. Am I going this crazy is here? Called the hate yeah, crime this is a little thing. over the top. Can you, like, talk to people for me and clear this up? <laughs> Hell no, not getting involved. Oh, Ari! Yeah? What's this shit about me hating gay people? I didn't tell anyone that, but they just kind of had their own conclusion. Well, can you tell them to chill out? Why the fuck would I do anything for you? You rejected me. This is bullshit. Oh, Ari, I got your picture. You did? Yeah, you looked hot as fuck in it. Oh my god, thank you. Would you want to try, like... No, sorry, I'm not there yet. <laughs> Maybe in college. <laughs> Dumbest advice. <laughs> Who would advise her to randomly sex <gasps> people? Oh, shit. What? Nothing. Show me the picture. No, get your own. <laughs> As you might be aware, the school's you GSA had your chance to go. Your immediate expulsion. <laughs> the fuck's a GSA? Gay Straight Alliance. So if a gay girl asks me out, I'm just not allowed to reject her. I'm not exactly. Why is she wearing pink? <laughs> the claim is that you bullied a gay girl by downplaying homophobia. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure this all became a thing because I wouldn't go out with her. Well, I'm sorry, but that detail doesn't seem to be relevant in the documentation for this petition. What do I have to do to prove I'm not homophobic? Make out with her on public Was access? Was this Nicole, always on know the, the wall right here? stations wouldn't allow that. Don't be disingenuous. Okay, then Channel 4, 5, the CW, what? That's not what I meant. Well, what do I have to do? I believe the best course of action is writing Ari a formal apology letter to- Fuck that shit! Do you even know how I got involved with this bitch? Language. Do you even know how I got involved with this hoe? <laughs> Slightly better. She stole one of my homework excuses and I got stuck in group counseling with her. Ari screwed me over first. Nicole, this is like telling police they should arrest someone for selling you bad weed. I wouldn't put selling a bag of stems past her either. Look, it's either <laughs> write her a letter, go to a sensitivity retreat, or be expelled. Sensitivity retreat? Is that like conversion therapy? Third person reverse conversion therapy. You have a week to decide. Your what? What does that even mean? Waste of time. Karen? Homophobe. Even Karen? Your days are numbered, bitch. <laughs> shit get a hobby. Sucks, don't it? Okay, let's hear your dumbass insult. What? Pile it on. I'm a homophobe, right? You think I'm just another sheep, don't you? Is sheep interchangeable with dipshit? Don't get defensive. I've heard what they're saying about you. Let's just say I know a place that can help you out. Oh, what no. could possibly help me out of this situation? I don't know. Maybe the straight club the oh, straight no. club Shh, it's on the dl dude what the hell is the straight club just a place for us straights you know a group to avoid bitches in the gsa for sure 
Uh, if you're so proud of being no. gay, you're proud of being straight. I gotta be dreaming right now. That good, huh? More like so incredibly fucking stupid, there's no way it's real. Oh, it's real, all right. And you're invited. I feel so special. Yeah, come on, it's fun. We make signs, plan events, talk about John McCain, <laughs> have music parties, just a wholesome get-together. Wholesome, huh? 100%. Do you still have Percocet? I'll go if you give me some. Uh, all right, sure. Okay, where is it? Follow me. We can't disclose it verbally, okay? You're in luck, too. It's straight club movie night. Slow. <laughs> Guys, welcome our new member, Nicole. Oh, what's up? Protect Fancy your nuts. You here. Why am I not surprised it's all men? It's movie night, boys. We got the projector ready? No, nah, but I got it. Is cool, it Fight Club? You. So you're in the straight club, huh? Let's not use the word in. Visiting, then. I guess. Why are you in the straight club? Isn't it obvious? Don't make me say it. Well, okay. Maybe it's kind of a mm. long story. It all goes back to when I finally started narrowing down my interest to a couple key hobbies. Like video games and anime, for starters. Don't make me say it. And <laughs> I love stuff like that so much, I wasn't afraid to tell anyone about it. But I didn't think so many people would find it annoying. My hobbies are practically my identity. And ever since middle school, I've been bullied for every hobby I have. Good. Yeah, that's what they said, too. I saw other kids get <laughs> bullied for being gay or foreign, and everybody immediately rushed to their defense. But when I got bullied for how I talked or what I liked, no one really cared. Like, I wasn't supposed to be protected. Almost as if liking anime is a choice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's when I realized no one's sympathetic when you're regular bullied. They only care if you're bullied for something you say you're born as. Before they were jerks for bullying me, but with this new group, they're gonna be bigots. Okay, that surprisingly clicks. Except for one thing. What's that? Why the fuck did you pick the straight club? Mm -hmm. I couldn't really pull off being gay. I get too nervous around girls. My friend Jasper loved cartoons and Amanda show, but then he came out as gay Please and stop it was like the no Amanda one was allowed show. to call him annoying anymore. Did you say Amanda show? Yeah, why? No reason. Straight pride isn't going to make anyone want to protect you. Straights are way in the lead here. Well, if Amanda show was around in like 1999. This is 2008. Why are you still talking about the Amanda show now? Anyway. That's true. Like Why the anime do we have is to a be choice. so secretive of the straight pride club? <laughs> Feels like everyone gets a pride rally but us. It's called a Redskins tailgate. Uh, never mind. Let's not get into this on movie night. Really not the time for politics. It's not politics. It's fucking dumb as shit. What teacher would even sponsor this? We couldn't get an official sponsor, but one teacher agreed to under the table sponsor us. Okay, so what teacher would under the table sponsor this? Greetings, fellow. Ah! What the movie, Nicole? Uh, of <laughs> now that we got a pretty girl in the straight club, we're really in business. Dude, perfect timing. What's the movie this week, coach? It's not Rambo 3 again, is it? Nah, I thought we'd switch things up from the last four weeks. I got a very special copy of American History X. Seen it. I'm leaving. Not so fast, young lady. What makes oh, it so shit. special? See, when the movie first came out, it was great. Just a man proud of his heritage kicking ass. But then Hollywood had to come in and put in their BS progressive agenda on the last part of the movie. So this is my copy of American History X with the last 30 minutes cut out. Who wants to watch? Well, I love director's cuts. I'm going to get us some popcorn. Be right back. This is going to rule. So, Nicole, what brought you to the straight club anyway? Some drama, don't worry about it. She's just being shy. Some dyke bitch told everyone Nicole was homophobic because she didn't want to date her. What the fuck is wrong with these gay people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they always say, but these freaks won't stop till society's underwater. We should publicly execute those weirdos. Now that's what I expected to hear at a straight club. What's her address, Nicole? Let's show that bitch a lesson. Whoa, chill out, I don't know it. Don't hold out on us. Tell me where she lives or I'm gonna choke slam you into the sugar cube castle. I told you I didn't know her fucking address. Kyla, Kyla, Who's the sugar down? cube castle? This is way over the top. I don't get it, coach. I thought this was the straight club. I know, but you're being messy. Besides, I'm a teacher. I'll just look up a file and get the address that way. Great thinking, coach. Get her address for what? Just gonna teach her and her family a little lesson in humility. Come on, straight club. First the student files, then a drive Here down 95 the when the gas is cheap. <laughs> down 95? Wouldn't that take forever? I'm not going to burn our house down with expensive gas. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, boys. Finally, reparations. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if 
I'll get blamed for this too. <gasps> yes. Who could help me out of this shit? Jekka. What the? Where'd everybody go? <laughs> Maybe I should find something other than being straight. <laughs> come on, come on. Try not to get blamed for a hate crime. I'm watching Drake and Josh. This better be really fucking good. Oh my it's God. actually really bad. Oh, well, Drake see and Josh is relatable. What? I was invited to the straight club, and they're on their way to burn Ari's house down right now. We have to stop it. Okay, slow way the fuck down. What the hell is a straight club? The gym coach started an underground cult for straight pride. <laughs> they all think they're victims for being straight. Aren't we victims of being straight? Name one good boyfriend either of us had. No, it's all men. Oh. How are they victims? They're jealous of gay pride rallies. That's all I gathered. They should be. They're fun. It's the only place where you can make out with three different girls and feel proud of your cold sores the next morning. <laughs> cool. So they're on their way to kill Ari right now. Oh, yeah. Why would they burn her house down? Because they heard she spread the homophobic rumor about me, and now they want revenge or something. They were set off, like, instantly. And so why is that your problem? I thought you hated her. Because it's a hate crime that I am going to get blamed for. These guys are insane. Check is not being the voice of Ethan right the now. Ending cut out. But it's about a race. Racist guy isn't cutting it down good. The ends where they learn how to not be racist. Okay, okay, I get it. Except for one little detail. What? Why the fuck did you come here? Call the police. When have the police ever done anything good for us? <sighs> True. All right, let me get my shoes. Is she already asleep? Ari? Ari? Why can't it be like the movies where they're just conveniently 10 feet from the door? It better be like the movies soon. When are they getting here? I think they went down to Woodbridge where the gas is cheap, so we maybe have a few minutes. The price is cheaper, but don't you burn that driving down there? It's not for their car. Oh, yeah, to burn the house down. Drake and Josh is on this. <laughs> is pretty good. What the fuck, still? Marathon. What do you want? It's almost 10. Is your family home? No, they're out of town. Nicole what has the a fuck point. What do you want? <laughs> You've got to get out of here. Someone's on the way to burn your house down. For once, she has a Who point. Who set my house on fire? Coach Colby Straight Club. They're mad at the general idea of homosexuality and want to kill you for being gay. Yeah, so pretty serious. That sounds so made up, it's not even funny. You already <laughs> rejected me. Now you want to prank me? She's not making it up there on the way. Why the hell would Nicole go out of her way to help anyone but herself? It doesn't make any sense. Because Ari also has a point. Everyone has a good the point of the hate crime. You really got to get out of here. Why wouldn't I just call the police? So they can show up 10 minutes after you're dead? Okay, where's the camera? There's no fucking camera. No MTV, no Ashton Kutcher, no... The guy from Jungle Land? Come on! <laughs> what do we have to do to prove we're not making this up? How should I know? I don't know, just anything she wouldn't do to pull off a prank? Uh, fine. Kiss me. Oh, easy. Not you, herpes fully loaded. <laughs> I mean, Nicole has to kiss me. What do you mean? I thought you were mad at her. Herpes oh, I fully am. loaded. I hate her. Nicole, you're a cold, corrupt, selfish, psychopathic bitch. Literally the most sadist fucking whore. I wouldn't be surprised if you like killing animals. Haven't tried. You don't even get mad at the assumption of that. You're severely twisted, evil, manipulative, and in general just a heartless this bitch. Is... <laughs> Doesn't mean I don't want you every waking moment of my sad fucking life. Excuse me? You show every sign of an abuser, and I don't give a shit. Yeah, You're the kind of girl who'd like choke milk. me goodnight. Yeah, the he's, kind of girl who'd walk he in does on me not cutting and take the well. razor blade and do it for me. I don't want a girlfriend to marry. I want a girlfriend who helps me plan my own suicide. You're that girl, Nicole, and I need you bad. Bitch, you need therapy. Okay, but she confessed Nicole, her love for you. Nicole, you also her now. need no way. it. No fuck this bitch. Why? She stole my excuse. I don't kiss depression posers. You are so petty. How else is she gonna believe this isn't a prank? My demand's final. We're here to save you right now. Shame that you hate being a homophobe more than I hate dying. <coughs> Even if you're telling the truth, I don't care. You know what I want. Nicole, we lost five minutes doing this and she hasn't moved one inch from her house. Is this the real lesbian uh, ending? What if we took you to the Super 8 and I kiss you in the lobby? The lobby? What am I, worthless? Do you want to hear yes? I'll get my shoes. No time, get in the car. Remember how being nice lands you in hostage friendships? Well, the fear of being blamed for inciting a hate crime lands you in hostage relationships. So, after her house burned down, it went from everyone in school hating me to everyone in school threatening to kill me. And I only had one option out. I've had to date Ari for the last two months so far, so they wouldn't Wow, it's just fault. the reverse and of it! For another six and Who's the power in the relationship? Before graduation. <laughs> She's really, 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 really fucking annoying, too. Do you want to watch Heroes? No, I don't want to watch fucking Heroes. Heroes sucks. 
Jeff you know is the only person shit. who's in on it, and every day, see, there's homophobia here, but them burning our house down for being gay doesn't prove anything, okay? Obama's literally the president now. <laughs> if a plane crashes, does that make 99.9% .9 of the rest of airplanes unsafe? Yeah, that's what I thought. If it's so bad, she can move to Brooklyn, or wherever annoying people live after they graduate. <laughs> gay people can't afford Brooklyn. <laughs> Especially now in 2024. Emergency service request. Hello, this is 911 with an SMS update on your service request. The approximate wait time for your police officer arrives in one hour. Please find a safe location until your first responder arrives to assist with your arson hate crime. Thank you. Have a nice day. To no longer receive these messages, reply stop. All text messages from 911 are subject to a 25 cent service charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're both bad endings. <laughs> okay, alright. What about... Can't believe Arya's just using the coal for her body sex. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. Let's see... Does anything happen when we smoke if we smoke cigarettes indoors in the Cole's house? I'm not sure if anything does. Nothing happens here, I think. No matter what decision I choose. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah, smoke cigarettes? Okay. Let's see what happens here. Smoke cigarettes! Why is smoking indoors so bad anyway? Because it makes the carpet smell like cigarettes. But it smells good. Cigarettes are like air fresheners. They make you look cool too. I feel like a doctor in an 80s movie. Yeah, take a fat ass drag before you tell a mother of three she has cancer. <laughs> like, sorry bitch, I'm just living over here. Emphysema? Never heard of her. <laughs> so glad we could do this. It's so hard to smoke in front of the school now. What happened? So my perfect time to go out and do it was like 9, 9.30. And in the last few weeks, the fucking counselor is always out there trying to talk to me. Because you're in trouble? No, that's why it's weird. It's like little small talk, commenting on my outfit. You're too pretty to smoke. It just ruins my whole morning now. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And no matter where you are, he always finds you. Does he use the dress code to hit on you? Literally every time. That looks a little low cut for school. Looks right down the titties. <laughs> yeah, when they catch you alone, they savor the fuck out of that good Samaritan stare. Like, how are you this horny at your job? Go look at porn on your work computer and get fired for it later. And he's fully aware of the leverage game, too. Exactly. I'm the cool counselor. You can smoke. But as soon as I tell the principal he's flirting with me, he'll immediately rat. Wow, so it's either don't smoke or smoke and get your titties stared at. Easily the second one. I literally can't function without this now. It I still addiction. haven't found a drug where I function. It's like you turn 12 and you can't have anything perfect anymore. What the hell are you guys doing in here? Oh, shit. Uh, doing what? I don't know what you're talking about. You see all the smoke in here? Mom said you can't smoke in the house. Mom also said move the, the fuck the out, you're down. 27. But I guess that didn't register either. As if. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Sorry, I didn't know the Why basement was your Xbox video game shirt? office you happen to sleep in seven nights a week. Office sleep seven nights a week? Working hard. I don't sleep there every night, okay? I got other places to be and shit. Since when are you so defensive about living in the basement? I thought you liked it. I'm not defensive, and I don't even sleep there. <laughs> oh, I know why. What? You're trying to look cool because there's a girl here. No. It's the no. cigarettes. They make me look hot. Look, all I did was come up here starving for lunch, and now my appetite's ruined because of how bad it smells in here now. Yeah, I never want to eat after I smoke either. Me too. Cigarettes are actually kind of healthy. Newport's my new personal trainer. Do whatever the fuck you want because I'm snitching hard, bro. So not the way to win me over. Shh, come on. Can't you just go back in the basement and play with your toys? Video games are not toys. That's it. I'm calling mom. Uh, okay, okay, wait. This better be good. Oh. Uh... <laughs> oh, once again, we are left with no good choices. <laughs> Sorry, Jekka. Uh, let me get the smoke odor spray in my room. You guys just chat while I'm gone. Sacrifice. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's an office. In the basement? It's a basement office. 
Right. So, so you hang out a lot? I guess. Doesn't everybody? Oh, well, you know, some people get busy with, with school and stuff. Are you in school? Taking a hiatus, kinda. Was working on my master's in game design. Where was that? DeVry. Kinda under the radar. <laughs> really? They're on TV every day. But yeah, all that, all that stuff's kinda boring. You like hanging out here? Not right now. Cause even if Nicole isn't around, you can still come here if you want. I like hanging out. You wanna hang out with a high school girl by yourself? How old are you? 20, uh, 27. But it's just a number, like whatever. I like numbers. You like numbers? Yeah, yeah, numbers are cool. Fucking math and shit. Math, yeah. What's 48 divided by 4? Oh, shit. Um, the, uh, 12. It's 12, right? Yeah, that's right. Cool, yeah. Why, why do you ask? Because when you learned how to solve that, I wasn't even alive. <laughs> 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 Zach Efron gay? My condolences. The cruelest thing Nicole's ever done. What the fuck is this? A bedroom? You really left me with your brother to go up here and read a magazine? I didn't think you'd stay down there that long. Cause I thought you were coming back with a smoke spray? Yeah, sorry. Sometimes I just disassociate. Do you even know what that means? No, but I heard a girl say it once. <laughs> Sounded like a good excuse. <laughs> you have no idea how awkward that was. I was hearing music down there. I thought you were having fun. No, he just put on a bunch of techno music. And then he got mad after I called it techno. Break beat. I was about to break the fucking stereo <laughs> before I came up here. Okay, so he talked to you and played some shitty music. What's the big deal? Break Your brother was hitting on me, Nicole. Seriously? He was asking me to come over even when you weren't here. What's that sound like to you? Sounds like he wants to score. And you went up in your little room and let it happen. I can never come here again. It's too awkward now. That's a little dramatic. He's in the basement most of the time anyway. But what if he comes up? It's just weird now. So you're just never coming back? Unless you kill your brother? No. But then I gotta go to jail. Don't even stress over it. I don't really think I want to hang out anymore anyway. Are you serious? You get hit on by gross weird guys all the time. Yeah, but after that, they're blocked out of my memory. If I have one who's always at my friend's house, I can't do that anymore. It's like a Jewish girl marrying a neo-Nazi. She'll never not think about the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. You are being so dramatic right now. It's like you don't even fucking care. Okay, she bye, doesn't. Nicole. I'm done. She doesn't. Jekka. Hey, were you actually like... Ugh, God damn it. <laughs> Camel Crush, the most interactive cigarette. <laughs> Nine, ten in the morning. So far, so good. Jessica, <laughs> aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Enjoying yourself out here yet again? I guess. You guess? Is everything okay? No, no, everything's okay. Good. And if it ever isn't, you know I'm always open to talk about it. Totally, yeah. Thanks. By the way, you're looking beautiful today as always. I hope your vice here won't tamper with that. Got it covered, don't worry. So, what have you been up to over the weekend? Um... I downloaded the Carter 3 off LimeWire. Oh, I see. Is that a movie? I'm not familiar with the first two Carters. Oh, Jesus. It's an album. Right. Are you liking it so far? Doesn't everybody? Well, hopefully they could play some of it at homecoming this year, if it's school appropriate. Yeah, if I'm even going. Now, you wouldn't be having trouble finding a date, would you? Uh. Excuse me? It's just that smoking habit of yours might leave a smell that could put the boys off. Really don't think it puts any guy off. Well, in any event, <laughs> if you ever need to change so to get the smell you, off, Mr. you're Counselor. always welcome to use my office. Why wouldn't I just use the locker room? The gym teachers would catch that smell immediately and bombard you with questions. Though in my office, it would be our little secret. High school can be very hard, so it helps to have an adult who really understands you. Totally, yeah. Uh, so is that it? Now, you're not trying to get rid of me, are you? Why would I ever want to do that? <laughs> just playing <laughs> around. Uh, but before I go... I just need to remind you of the school's dress code once again. What about it? I'm seeing your shirt alone has a few infractions. You get a good look. Bitch! Uh, hey, what's that for? For reading your little anime book in front of me, you fucking Lego collector. I already said this. It's called manga. I'm gonna call your mom and tell her sorry she'll never have grandkids. What? No, don't kick me down there. I don't need to, because the more Mario trivia you know, the less women want to fuck you. Not you true. You a whole lot of Mario trivia, don't you, Jeffrey? M more so the canon of the Mushroom Kingdom. 
You are gonna fuck so many kids in your 30s. How do video games and anime make me a kid like her, huh? That's like asking how does heroin make you a drug addict? I'm getting real tired of you picking on me. It won't be so fun when the shoe's on the other foot. Are you threatening me? Are you threatening me in Skechers? Well, um, uh... I'll take the gun you're saving for the cheerleaders and shoot you in the fucking face with it! All right, that is quite enough, Nicole. What? What'd I do? What I've heard in your verbal attack on Jeffrey is very troubling and downright heinous. Yeah, you forgot everything they said in the bullying assembly. Yeah, those work. Confronted by a staff member and not even an ounce of remorse, this is how Virginia Tech happened, Nicole. <laughs> That's not how Virginia <laughs> Tech happened. You should probably talk to him then. Go to class, Jeffrey. I'll deal with this troubled student myself. Thanks. You've always had the backs of us students. This is mandatory <laughs> counseling, Nicole. You will be in my office every day for the rest of the year until you show improvement. Fucking every day? For how long? You'll be excused from your classes for one hour. This used to be my break time, but now I'll be seeing you in my office 9 a.m. sharp starting tomorrow. Is that clear? Dude, that's so early. Is that clear? Sure, whatever. Now off to class, both of you. How was that rest of the year punishment? Um, what did Jeffrey do? Nothing. Wait, then why did you... You can smoke by yourself again, right? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Aww. It's kind of sad. Do you want to hang out later? I can hang out now. Let's get the fuck out of here. I really can't miss class today. Are you going somewhere anyway? <laughs> oh, okay, so it, just, it ends up in the same place. Okay, so... Do our class. Oh, it's a different... Okay, so if it's a different thing, I'm going to save here let's see for this week's assignment let's really open the floor of creativity in the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencil we're gonna draw a few characters we're gonna draw a newspaper it's like newspaper without the ink what the fuck did my mom pay a 50 dollars supply fee for for drawing on newspaper <laughs> yeah isn't that cheaper than printer paper it's not cheaper, it's just specialized. Art classes are here to remind you you're special. It's so snowflakes. are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? I mean, check it Your back. minds are special. <laughs> Is he calling us Check us back on our side. <laughs> and with the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencils, we'll be drawing characters. Any characters you'd like. These characters could tell a story, show how you feel, portray a social cause. Anything you feel is worth the time to draw. Can my characters murder bitches? Be mindful that anything we do in this class must be school appropriate. Can my characters be the gym teacher trying to molest us? Nicole. What? It's in school. I it's your first assignment. Just can I can I just say that if you're doing if you're doing art and your smock is like this dirty. You're not really doing. You're not really drawing anything on a canvas. You're just slapping paint around. Um. Anyway. Just play it safe. Any other questions? Are we allowed to just draw people hanging out? Of course. Though it might not be the strongest test of your creativity. Think. Why are they hanging out? What purpose brought them all together to hang out? God, bitches and shit. If there are no further <laughs> questions, I'll hand you your papers and we can begin. Let's see. Should we actually draw or fuck drawing? Fuck drawing or actually draw. Fuck drawing. Bitch, you do that shit. <laughs> Excuse me? Dude, we're seniors. I'm not drawing during one of my sleeping classes. I'm sorry, but you're in art, not a sleeping class. Is this an elective? 
Well, yes. So what are you going to do about it? Fail you for your lack of participation. Oh, yeah, and the elective that doesn't stop me from graduating. That'll really show me. Yeah, actually, why the hell are any of us drawing? For the easy GPA. What fucking college would care if you drew some bullshit picture about your feelings? They'd rather see an A in an easy class than a B in a hard class. I don't want to be in fucking any class. We had to do 12 years of this shit. You're going to volunteer for more of it? Whatever. You have a real attitude problem. You know that, Nicole? You have a teaching a real class problem. Go work at Starbucks with your little apron. <laughs> well, let's see how the principal deals with your abundance of comebacks. Oh, man. Nicole, we're not even a week in and you're getting sent to the principal. New record, <laughs> don't be jealous. <laughs> you're on your final warning, Nicole. Final warning? This is the first time I was sent here. I've decided to roll over your warnings from last year. You made such a habit out of coming here, it's hard to forget over the summer. You don't do that with anyone else. Yes, but anyone else doesn't seem to deliberately disrupt the class as much as you do. What, am I supposed to accidentally call my teacher a bitch? You're supposed to follow the class and not insult faculty. No shit. Then why do you continue to not do that? Because that's boring. <laughs> so your life here is a game to you? Pretty no, much. Candyland's a game. This shit's torture. If the current curriculum isn't working for you, we could always have you transferred into a different program here. I swear to God, if you put me in spec ed, I will bully all of those kids into killing themselves. Nicole, don't be ludicrous. They're special, Miss Lynn. One little push, and you'll have to make a really awkward <laughs> phone call. I wasn't implying special ed. She's not education. kidding. She will do it. We have alternative it. learning programs for students who feel they can't quite get along. Really now? I wouldn't look at it as an out. Believe me when I tell you, the classes you're in now are a lot more pleasant. We'll see about that. Again, final warning. I just don't understand why we can't upload anime to YouTube anymore. A lot of the time, there's no other way to watch the original Japanese version with English subtitles. Uh-huh. Besides, <laughs> I can't even stomach the American version. They just change so much. It's not a faithful adaptation, so YouTube is the only way we can watch the true original version. Why do you think I know what any of the shit you're talking about is? Well, it's sort of been a big deal in the online communities. The Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Have you heard of it? <laughs> Will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> well, hey, you're going off about copyright and shit. You can't even tie your shoes. I know how to tie shoes. Slip-ons are just quicker is all. Quicker is all? You sound like a cartoon character arguing age of consent laws. <laughs> but what's wrong about sounding like a cartoon? Cartoons are my favorite. Second to anime. Weren't you talking about how much you want a girlfriend yesterday? Yes, and I still want one. And you plan on this hypothetical girlfriend touching your penis? Well, I don't want to rush things, but one day, yes. Okay, let me help you out. Approaching girls in your Velcro shoes with the current events of YouTube anime will not make her want to fuck you. Wh who said I was trying to do that with you? Just to talk between friends <clears throat> think about you in that way. Really? Yeah, not at all. Not even a little? N no. Wow, that's a shame. Why? Because I wanted to give you a hand job after lunch, but if you don't think about me that way... Wait, I mean, well, I could reconsider my feelings <laughs> if you felt that way. You are so fucking Jeffrey. I hope you kill yourself while your mom watches. I'm hearing a bit of profanity over here. <laughs> you all right? Oh, I, I don't know. You're not going to write me up, are you? I'm on my last warning. That depends. Jeffrey, what's going on here? N nothing. Nicole was actually helping me out with some life advice. Well, all right. Back to work on your lab. Don't worry, Nicole. Usually you just ignore me, but I understand you were trying to be extra mean today, so I'd better myself. No, that I was extra why. mean to get written up, so I don't have to take these shitty fucking classes anymore. Oh, well, if you're ever feeling like you need an escape, the manga club's doing a... Just stop there. <laughs> Hold on, you told him kill yourself while your mom watches? Yeah, that's really good. I know, right? <laughs> and that didn't get you written up? <laughs> yeah, the teacher wasn't there when I said it, so the response Sometimes was Sometimes Jekka's horrified. You're really going Sometimes for these remedial impressed. classes, huh? Is that what they're called? Yeah, but it's for major fuck-ups. I'm not sure you want to be there every day. What, stupid kids? No, kids who are going to go to jail straight after graduation. It's like the worst of the worst. Every day is Saturday school, but more eventful. I know it's going to be rougher, but I'm just tired of these lame-ass teachers who won't leave me alone about anything. You think the other teachers are just going to let you do whatever you want? If I just want to sleep in class, then by default, yes. A collection of the worst kids in school means distractions from me. But you still can't find your way there. Tragic. Tragic. Well, hold on. What's your textbook there? It's for government. Why? Can I borrow that real quick? 
Sure. I'll be right back. What the fuck? <laughs> Why'd you ask what subject it is if you were just gonna throw it out a window? Huh. I don't know. <laughs> All right, what the hell's the matter with you? Acting out, felt alone. Do I look like a therapist to you? Nicole, we've been trying to take a more understanding disciplinary approach lately. Tell me what's wrong, because you're disappointing us here. Wait, are you not going to write me up? It's the no child left behind <laughs> sort of thing. I don't want to escalate anything if we can resolve this through a dialogue. That was so George Bush, not Obama. To break a window? Yeah, and did it have to be my textbook? I need that for government. Nicole, is there a hostility towards government class? Are you really not going to write me up? Nicole, answer the question. What's wrong with government? Uh, because our government hates women. Excuse me? Excuse the government me? Hates women, dude. We can't get abortions or anything. Oh, I see. A political extremist, <laughs> huh? Using violence to spread your message? If you want to call it that. The dictionary calls that terrorism, young lady. We've been cracking down on terrorism for the last seven years, if you haven't noticed. Are you connecting this to 9-11? Just sick. Straight to the principle. Come with me. Getting warmer. <laughs> Wait, am I at lunch alone now? Join the club, Jekka. I could sit with you if you want. No, fuck off. <laughs> you really don't waste any time, do you? <laughs> Guess not. So I'm out of regular school now, right? He accused you of acts of terrorism, Nicole. That's a bigger punishment than remedial classes. What? How's throwing a book terrorism? You threw a book through a window for a political message. And did he not explain the message? Nicole, I'd rather not get into your diatribe <laughs> on the Communist Manifesto. Communist? That's what Mr. Colby informed me of. I didn't even know what the fuck communism is. <laughs> Must you play dumb with me? <laughs> no, seriously, is it like for people who go on the internet too much? I have no clue. Well, if not for communism, why did you break the window with a government textbook? Because the government hates women, that's what I told him. So if anything, it was feminism, not communism. This isn't the first time he's referred to feminism as communism. See, he's fucking insane. He wants to rape women and force them to keep the baby. Total psycho. Just despicable. Right there with you. So are you writing me up or? Women's rights are no reason to write any student up. You're very brave, Nicole. Now I'll be having a word with your Oh my God, Wait, really? I broke a window. Isn't that delinquent behavior? Really? You have your <clears throat> reasons, but this is an intricate conversation we'll need to have later. But what if I just did it for fun? Like no terrorism or feminism or anything? Well, that would be different now, wouldn't it? Okay, then I made the feminism shit up. Just give me the regular trouble. You're not getting sent to remedial Michelle classes. successfully no, failed. I hate women. <laughs> nice try, Nicole. I'm not messing around. All women are good for is sucking dick and watching Desperate Housewives. Out of my office. <laughs> Task fell good successfully. News, Nicole. Very good day today. Did the mean lady at Marshall's transfer? Even better. I got a new job. Mom, you get eight alimony checks a month. Why the fuck did you get a job? You're going to be 18 soon, and when that happens, the well dries up just a bit. Also, it's a reason to get out of the house. Is daytime drinking at PF Chang's not getting out of the house? PF Chang sells alcohol. I am. Well, I got a job in Can catering for that little kosher deli. Not pedophilia. <laughs> yeah, Rossler's Deli. I'll be prepping the sandwich trays. It's not the most prestigious, but I think there's value in working amongst the common man. Okay, cool. Why would you work at a kosher deli? I thought you hated Jewish people. Nicole, I do not hate Jewish people. You said my third stepdad only got a good settlement because the courts won't let the Holocaust go. <laughs> we all say trash things when we're upset. Let's not read into it. <laughs> I won't feed into your negativity and let it ruin my moment of progress. Oh, what book is that from? Again, happy thoughts. So how was school today? I got in trouble and they transferred me to remedial classes. What? I know. Mm. Took them long enough. No, what the is the matter with you? Wow, happy I need remediation. Gone. My grades and behavior are apparently not cutting it. You're great. You go to school every day. Don't you get a C just by showing up? Mom, it's not the 70s anymore <laughs> where you just show up and get a C. You actually have to do shit now. It sucks. Excuses, excuses. Oh, weren't you supposed to be happy or something? <sighs> I'm going to go up to my room and read up on how to fold the pastrami. You better find a way out of those remedial classes. You better find a real fucking job, bitch. <laughs> they have a great mother-daughter relationship. Jack was freaking out over nothing. These kids aren't that tough and crazy. Hey, you got put in remedial English too? 
Wait, just English? I thought all my classes would be here. No, nah, they only have it for math and English. So I still have to go to art class? If you need extra time here, they'll let you skip electives. Guess I'll have to take it. So did you get put here for some bullshit reason like the rest of us? You could say that. Why are you here? Just some bullshit with Mr. Horvitz, that sheeny shit-faced fucking fairy. I wish the Holocaust happened. <laughs> what was that last part? I said I wish the Holocaust <laughs> happened. I think you need remedial history. Pretty sure the Holocaust did happen. Oh. Well, I wish it happened more. Then that fuck wouldn't be here. <laughs> so this is remedial classes. <laughs> All right, time to start. I want to see you all in your assigned seats. I want to see you in a wheelchair, bitch. Yeah, fuck you, Miss Ames. Are we finished? Whoa, she didn't say shit. I see we have a new student. <laughs> Welcome to Remedial English. My name is Miss Ames. What shall we call you? Uh, fiance. Okay, I'll just look it up during attendance. Can we listen to our iPods? Listen to what? Does it matter? If you're listening in class, it should serve to benefit the course in some way. Would Wheezy benefit the course? Yeah, and what about Say Kanye? Say it ain't Are so. These whoa, whoa. No, they're accountants. Come on, we'll just do one earbud. While I'm sure this music is catchy for all of you, it serves little in terms of lyrical substance. Not appropriate for English. Then who can we listen to? How do you feel about the Beatles? You're such a fucking white mom, it's not even funny. I'm sorry? Dodge Caravan, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, so we can't listen to rap or anything? I never said that. You just need to choose something with meaningful lyrical content. What do you think about Tupac? I think he's dead. Yeah, think he's dead. He could be hiding in Ecuador for all we know. <laughs> His music? He's whatever. Yeah, he's okay, I guess. Okay? Socially conscious music is just okay? The lyrical content of Tupac was such an important submission of oh modern God. poetry by the African American community. She's actually a cool you teacher. You wouldn't say any of that shit unless the Washington Post did an article on it. Yeah, do you have Tupac on cassette or something? Irrelevant to my point, but I say all of that as a lead-in to your next essay. Dude, why the fuck do we have to write? I just want to watch fight videos. An essay on the state of modern poetry. It needs to be four pages, double space. And feature a variety of citations of proper modern poetry. We don't read proper modern poetry. And this assignment will force you to do so. What about our music? Poetic merit seldom exists with these modern rappers. The misogyny alone is sickening. What misogyny? A variety of things I'd rather not repeat. Are you bad at pronouncing this thing? Eminem. I might too, it's okay. MF Doom. Why is lunch at like May he rest in peace. It's remedial lunch. They gotta keep us away from the other kids or we'll cause trouble or some bullshit. Kyler, was that a negative remark I just heard? Of oh, this fucking guy. It wasn't even <laughs> negative. How's calling some bullshit negative, huh? Do you recall our chat last lunch about the energy in which we charge our language with? Why don't you come with me for a refresher? I hate talking. Talking's for gay people. <laughs> what a theory. Hey, can I sit with you? Why? The kids at the other table keep throwing ketchup packets at me. You're not covered in ketchup, though. They don't know you have to open them first. Damn, we need a remedial bullying class, too. <laughs> so, how do you like remedial English? I guess it's whatever. My mom was really pissed, though. Yeah? What about your dad? My dog killed himself. Wow, dramatic much? Oh, no, he killed himself last year. Fuck. You want to trade dads? What about your dad? Literally everything. He's so up his own ass all the time. <laughs> I'll be happy about anything, and he'll go, what about your grades? Like, go away. He sounds like a weekend dad. He is a weekend dad. Every week, I hope he dies so I don't have to see his ass on Saturday. That's a good dynamic. So do you guys actually do the essays here? Yeah, and remedial you have to or they transfer you to a hood school. Dude, that's such bullshit. I wouldn't worry. They're not expecting a good paper. It's remedial, right? I guess, but like modern poetry? How do I even write half a page on modern poetry? Every paper here is just zoning out to the last minute. By the way, you want to pop C's with me? Triple C's? No, bitch, quadruple C's. How many you got? Like a ton. I stole a bunch from Rite Aid yesterday. <laughs> they weren't behind the counter? Yeah, you get far away enough from the beltway, they don't care at all. No, if only <laughs> I had a car. So, you want to do them with me? Maybe a little early to get oh, high God. on cough medicine. What? Like, we're too young for it? Bitch, it's 1030. This way, quickly. Nicole found a new Jekka. Oh, bitch, these kids. How a Jekka was out of me? line. I hate her so much. They really picked the right teacher for punishment. Oh my god, I can't even go back there. What, are you gonna skip? Do you wanna? But if we don't do the paper, don't they send us to some hood school or whatever? Dude, it's just one class. It's not like we won't finish the paper missing one class. 
Well, where do you want to go? I don't know. Out, around. I got a prescription you think to pick Nicole up. Nicole would do, do that. BBC shit. Do she that as in cool. go there, or do that as in abuse the prescription? No, BBC. you can't do that with Sarah Quell. It's not. Are okay, we talking the British oh. bar, the British so Broadcasting Company, it's like or an psychotic? It's like the, psychotic the or it's psychotic. BBC. I don't know. It just makes you sleepy. My mom forced me to get it after I slashed her tires. Cool. Yeah. So you want to go with me? Why can't you just go yourself? I'm not going to skip alone. That's like a step above reading at lunch alone. Big just ask some other psycho remedial kid. Corn. No, they're all shitty. I want to go with some Big cool. black corn. Black corn. What? No, I Big got a boyfriend. Big throbbing black but corn. But you actually love him. Um, yeah. No. I love that my parents hate I him. I don't Close think enough. she would. But seriously, come on, let's go. So, something you don't have. Excuse me. Okay, we got to the... So... I don't think she would. Because we did do a whole we did do a whole thing with with Nicole being a prostitute. And she didn't really she didn't she did not take lower favors. She only took the higher favors. She's she sucked the big the BBCs. She did not let the BBCs penetrate her. Um, so, I guess it would depend. Penetration up top or below. So, probably yes, if they gave her enough drugs and compensation. Um, but not because she thought it was cool. Um, Nicole doesn't think anything is cool. Nicole is the quintessential jaded 16, 17-year-old teenager. Let's see. She has a My Chemical Romance <laughs> poster <laughs> in her bedroom. So you know she doesn't think anything is cool. Let's see. Do something evil with the essay. Skip school with the violent alt girl. Uh, let's do something evil with the essay first. I kind of want to, but I just can't right now. I told you the papers don't need to be good. They just need to be done. Yeah, but I want it to be good to me. What, so you care about school now? Never said that. Good to me, but bad for the teacher. Oh, so you're plotting. I'm plotting heavy. I want to write something that gets me the grade, but destroys her reputation. This sounds like way too much effort. How would you even do that? Everybody has biases. And when push comes to shove, those biases turn into major personality flaws. Are you trying to get Miss Ames fired? Maybe. And if I can't get her fired, I'm perfectly happy with showing her she's just another Democrat in a gated community. Yeah, she's really <laughs> afraid of rat music, too. But then again, she likes Tupac. Does she like Tupac, or does she feel obligated to mention Tupac? Oh, oh good point. Yeah, she always says it as a response to something. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to class. I need to do some research. Okay, well, I'm going to skip anyway. Tupac is out, a though? good go-to you rapper. Know, yeah, come over after school. Seriously? Your mom's not going to bitch about it or anything? I mean, she will, but fuck her. Yeah, I get it. I'll see you tonight. Take that, depression! Poetry. Take we that, depression! These poetry books suck ass. Can I just say the state of modern poetry sucks ass? Remember, four pages. So, can I just copy and paste modern poetry sucks ass until it fills four pages? Are these books you gave us really all we're allowed to use? Unless you're able to find some contemporary works on your own. And that's other than the rap on your iPods. But what if it's meaningful rap? And what's the likelihood of that? You find a stanza about drug use and misogyny? There will be no papers on the meaning of hoes in this classroom. Not a big fan, huh? I won't lecture you on intellectually stimulating music, but I think it's necessary to not voluntarily degrade yourself. Uh-huh, so what if the angle is on how rap is bad? I'm listening. <laughs> I need to a paper on this culture of rap and how it's so awful now. That would be a new one. You can try that. Just make sure to give it real effort, even if it might disagree with some of your stances. I'll try my best. Who knows, studying some other opinion might change my mind. Finally reaching these kids. <laughs> Re reaching what? Is this like a movie for you? Yeah, we're not black or Mexican or anything. You don't need to feel good about helping us. Back to work. <laughs> 
today was hard, but still rewarding. What was? My day working at the deli. Oh, I wasn't asking, but all right. You don't want to hear what happened? Not really. I think I'm good. Nicole, just because I'm your mother doesn't mean you can take me for granted. Who said I was taking you for granted? Then talk with me like you would with anyone else. This is how I talk with anyone else. Somebody says boring shit and I let him know I'm not interested. You know, it's not surprising why you only have one friend at school. I have more than one friend. Oh, yeah? Who? Emily. Who the fuck is Emily? <laughs> She's pretty cool and way more fucked up on drugs than I am. Really, no. And you're not making this up, right? <laughs> Mom, I'm not gonna make up a person to look less lonely. Am I some guy on AOL with a model girlfriend? All right, okay. What's her last name then? I don't know. I knew it. Mom, I'm not a cop who just asks for people's full names. Well, if she's real, why don't you invite her over? You want to meet her? I'd love to. Cool, because she's coming over in five minutes. What? You said you want to meet her. How could you invite someone over? This place is a mess. Well, she's a mess too. It's a perfect <laughs> match. <laughs> she oh actually is. Every little comment will just come back to haunt me. Tell her she can't come. Too late. And I'm still in my work apron. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, hey, let's head to my room. Nicole, you're not gonna introduce us? Mom, do not fucking do this right now. What? I can't even know her name. Emily? Hello, Emily. It's nice to meet you. You are such a fucking bitch. Nicole, <laughs> don't call me a bitch in front of your friends. I'm sure Emily doesn't call her mother a she bitch. She does all the time. I believe that. Excuse me? Okay, moms, we gotta go to my room now. <laughs> well, hold on. I'd time. like to know some more about your friend. <laughs> Emily, what do your parents do? Uh, my mom is like a nurse or something. A nurse practitioner? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and how about your father? He's a boardroom person for a nonprofit. It's called United Police Fund. Oh, I see them collecting donations at the mall sometimes. That's really interesting. <laughs> yeah, all right, so let's go. Before you leave, I just wanted to say it's very nice this to meet like a friend of yours with such an impressive background. You didn't even ask about her. I'd love to, but I need to take care of some things. I'll see you later. You never told me you were rich. Is that rich for real? God, now I look like an even trashier bitch. So are we going to your room? I kind of just want you to go home now. <laughs> are you going to see Nick and Nora? Wait, see who? It's the new, like, romance movie with the guy from Superbad. They put McLovin in a romance movie? No, the other one. Who would watch a romance with that fat piece of shit? No, the other, other <laughs> one. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I saw the preview for that. Yeah. So are you gonna see it? No, why would they make a romance starring ugly people? It's like different and free-spirited. <laughs> are we talking about me? No, Nick and Nora. What are you doing here? Nothing right now. You got any good shit on you? Jacka said you're in remedial classes. Yeah, what of it? Don't you have a different lunch from the rest of us? Are you skipping remedial? Snitch and I'll Which drown you in your dad's swimming pool. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, Jekka, let's go. You can go. No, How I'm gonna go with me. McLovin Why the fuck was? would I go with you? Bye. I thought we were friends. I only sit with you so I don't sit at lunch alone like the weird kids. Damn, shit hurts. Fuck you guys. Whores. Dude, how have you handled a week of Kelly? No, she's pretty entertaining. Entertaining like Britney Spears in 1999 or like <laughs> Britney Spears now? Oh, Britney Spears now for sure. All of her stories start with her and a guy who graduated three years ago. Britney did end. nothing wrong. Last weekend, she told me she went down on a guy during High School Musical 3. Is that the one in theaters right now? Yeah. Oh, that movie's for children. Why would she do it there? I don't know, but there was a baby crying two rows down while she did it. Was it Kelly's? Not yet. <laughs> so why are you here? I need a little help with a paper. Since when the fuck do you care about turning in a good paper? Since I got an idea to fuck over a teacher with it. Miss Ames wants us to do a paper on modern poetry and hates rap music. So, you think she's racist? I don't follow. I know she's racist, and I want to write something where she shows her whole ass over it. Nicole, if you write about rap music being good, you're just going to get an F, which won't prove shit because all your other papers get Fs. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to write a paper that agrees with her. And if she agrees with it back, it's gonna get her fired. Yeah, but you're gonna write the racist paper she agrees with. I'm a kid, what do I know? Then how could I possibly help you with this? Do you wanna ask my dad about Katrina refugees? Well, no, so you read books and shit. Is there like a really racist book I could just plagiarize? Uh, I have the English version of Mein Kampf if you wanna borrow oh, it. No. Why do you have the Hitler book in your backpack? They assign parts of it for AP history. 
Bitch, you pop pills and fuck on the first date. Why are you in AP history? Because maybe I want to fuck on the third date one day. <laughs> who? Ryan Sheckler, obviously. He's not going to marry some dumb blonde hoe. I haven't hoe. heard I that, that name but in years. But a smart blonde hoe? That's where the alimony is. By the time I graduate, I'll know three different languages, so I'll be set to impress when I see him at the X Games. You only take French. Giving Ryan head isn't Sheckler. a third language. It is if you're good at it. I don't remember who McLevin is, but I remember who Ryan Sheckler was. Reading Mein Kampf alone at the diner. Let's see guys turn this into a conversation starter. Hence, today I believe that I am acting <laughs> in accordance with the will of the Almighty Creator by defending mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. against the Jew. Okay, let's cross out Jew and replace that with rappers. <laughs> what else? The ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of the Jew. Hip hop artists if you could even <laughs> call them that this paper is gonna be so fucking easy nicole i didn't know you were in ap history hmm. uh, no i'm not in ap history that's then why they why have to make so many holocaust references i'm racist now oh all right <laughs> you're cool about anything <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, what's up? What the fuck do you want? What? No, nothing. Just saw you reading and was like, wow, she looks real smart like that. Is this like a usual thing for you? Reading in public? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So what you reading there? Mein Kampf. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. It's supposed to be really <laughs> interesting, right? Uh-huh. What do you think about it, like, specifically? I think it has, uh, like, really good themes in a story. Big fan of the message in Mein Kampf. Yeah, you could say that. What's your favorite part? What's yours? Oh, uh, like the middle. <laughs> Did you read it in English or German? Was it in German first or something? <laughs> yeah, it's the only German book America <laughs> oh, That means it's super good. She's though. absolutely I correct. It to a friend, right? Right. So, can I sit with you? Mein Kampf is the Nazi book. Oh, New cool. introduction. I didn't know that. So, can I sit with you? <laughs> oh, hello. Why did Hello, Alzu, Alzu Magia. Yes, Crispin is, is very stupid. Yeah, he is stupid and horny, a dangerous combination. To be emo and unclean. Tragic. All right, settle down. Your papers were all interesting, to say the least. Yeah, because they're good as shit, right? Kyler? How am I getting a new yeah, viewer like doing <laughs> during class? About how oh, gay not. poetry is doesn't make for a comprehensive think piece. I'll give you the stink piece, motherfucker. How do you feel <laughs> a paper in remedial English? I didn't know we weren't allowed to tell the truth. You're dumber than the bitches on next. Yeah, an MTV reality show hoes are really fucking dumb. Emily, D. <laughs> are you even supposed to call our grades out like this? Just so the class knows the bar they're setting. D in remedial, you're gonna end up on next. And Nicole. Uh huh. A. <gasps> a. A as in A or the loud A or like the letter. <laughs> Almost A plus, if anything. I was happily surprised with the gripping prose you provided <laughs> on rap music. So like the letter. Really? You thought it was that good? It was excellent. The best paper I've ever received teaching these classes. The persuasive wording, direness of tone, as if you were a poetic politician wise beyond your years. As if, right? But I've got an A. Were you white? I've earned the title. It's actually perfect timing, because next week your principal is bringing a few members of the school board to demonstrate why this program <laughs> is still worth funding. With this paper, I think it'll be obvious remedial programs can still reach troubled students. What, you're gonna, like, read the paper aloud? Of course. An amateur written work like this deserves an audience. If it's okay with you, Nicole. Um... Yeah, definitely. I oh, think that is an fire. amazing idea. <laughs> Great. And I trust you'll all be here this Friday? Let's hope. Anyway, for today's lesson, slang. The death of the English language. Why would they pick the cafeteria? So, okay. I'm going to defend Miss Ames here. Okay. How many people, how many people have actually read... Have actually read Mein Kampf. Raise your hands. Raise your hands in the chat. Raise your hands in the chat. If you have actually read Mein Kampf. And you know like the way. The way Adolf Hitler wrote it. If you can recognize it. Recognize it. Recognize. Recognize if someone plagiarized it. 
like on site if they replace the word replace Jews and with like any other race or like group of people. How many people could tell could tell that? Did they have plagiarism 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 detectors in two thousand nine? I'm not sure about that either. I don't think they did. If they did, they were in the very, very early stages. I mean, you would have to, in 2000, turn, turn it in .com was launched, so the technology was originally designed to check frat file plagiarism a pre-internet plagiarism technique that involves storing copies of physical essays for use in later years. It was adapted to deal with internet plagiarism as well. What is frat file plagiarism? A pre-internet plagiarism technique that involves storing copies of physical essays for use in later years. So you would have to put, you would have to, you would have to have the presence of mind to put an old essay or an old work into, into the system, into the system to check it against newer essays. So you wouldn't know to use it unless you knew that you had to use it, basically. So no one is going to just, no one is going to take the thing and say, hey, let me put mine comp in this. To see if any of my students are plagiarizing it. And exactly, I don't know anything about the book, I couldn't tell you anything about it. That's my point exactly. So I'm not gonna fault Miss Ames for this at all. Like she's she's not gonna know <laughs> that, that Nicole is going to try to use mind cough. <laughs> um Thank you for this. It's freezing. Yeah, how many people could possibly be on the school board? What's the school board do anyway? Stupid shit, like making the lunch healthy and covering up sex scandals. At least with the scandals, someone enjoys themselves. When they fuck the chicken nuggets up, everyone suffers. I wish you were in California where the schools have food courts. Yeah, then it'd be too far for your mom to wander in. Yeah. Wait, what? I saw <laughs> your mom in the hall 20 minutes ago. Is she picking you up early? Oh no. no? Wait, what the fuck? Did you actually see my mom here? I'm pretty sure it was your mom. She was with a bunch of people, too. What is wrong with her? Why? Uh, are you sure you're not just hallucinating off those meds? No, Seroquel doesn't make you hallucinate during the day. I'm gonna <laughs> kill myself. Nicole! No, Mom, get the fuck out of here right now! What? I can't see my daughter when we get called out to her school. Called by who? Your principal called us at Rossler's Kosher Deli to cater your little remedial presentation. Uh -oh. I was so proud to hear a paper you Everything did is connected. the main event. I've been excited to hear this all week. You knew about this for a week and didn't tell me? I thought it'd be a fun surprise. Why would they cater this? So in oh no! Blackmail you to call in sick, the Kosher Deli is so here! Dramatic. Oh, you're so dramatic. I'm sure all of the chills are here! I would actually choke her. Right this way, here's our star <laughs> Oh no! Yo, we need you with the sandwich tray! Looks like my boss needs me to <laughs> oh, Good luck, sweetie. School board members, if you could okay, just so if anyone knows my comp, yes, it would be before we get to the catering, we want to check just one together. of the works produced by this remedial program. Right, and as I've come to understand, the remedial classes are up for renewal at the end of this school year. A lot of talk has gone around asking, What's the point of these troublemakers? <laughs> and after hearing this paper, we think you'll Publicly see the progress stoned. that can still be made here. Nicole, would you like to read your paper to the board? That is okay. <laughs> I'd love to read it for you. Go ahead. Right. So this is Nicole's paper. I'll be reading for all of you. When Nicole first came to us, she had a 1.1 GPA, several truancy violations, and even more in-school suspensions. <laughs> I'm all too familiar. Look at all these sex-less marriages. At first, she didn't want anything to do with language arts. 
But after we exposed her to the right literature again and again, she was inspired to write this incredibly biting piece on contemporary music. This and is the only reason why her mom is working at a kosher deli. As a teen, I've come to be disappointed with the ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of rappers. The lack of instinct and narrow-mindedness of our upper classes make the people an easy victim for hip-hop's campaign of lies. Little Wayne's domination in the state seems so <laughs> assured that now not only can he call himself a rapper, but he ruthlessly admits his ultimate national and political <laughs> Huh. Yes. A section of the genre <laughs> owns itself to be a foreign Principal Lynn knows. here they lie. For a while, the Zionists tried to make the rest of the world... <laughs> oh, she left the Zionists in! Catering, please don't interrupt. The Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe that the national she left the of the rapper finds a satisfaction in the creation of MTV. The rappers again slyly do the dumb... Politics are weird. I don't think we can like, give the really things credit when Nicole like, left the word Zionist. Until they're eventually Hitler weird. Honestly, I just thought the school board would be on fire or something. Did not plan on the owner of a kosher deli listening in on it and calling the ADL afterward. Thanks for the heads up, Mom. Everyone involved had to go to court. Everyone. I, I took the stand the like, hey, kid, what do I know? And that didn't work so well. What worked better was calling the McDonald's hash browns latkes and I saying uncircumcised men are disgusting, because they are. But then I was in the clear, and they went through I was all of Miss Ames' class. I was to Fucked up. In college, her thesis paper was about how interracial relationships were misogynistic against white women. You can't make this shit up. The school itself was a problem, too, because every guy watches South Park, and Jews been, like, the number one insult for the last ten years. So now Principal Lynn has a mountain of paperwork. Miss Ames is losing her teaching license, and me? I've never been more satisfied. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nicole is kind of stupid. <laughs> the Zionists put it all together. <laughs> <laughs> um, Russell's special offer. Um, hi. If you're receiving this text message, this text it means you were selected for the Russell's Corsinelli sweepstakes. A chance to win your very own free catering at only at any event you would like. Events included from this offer are schools, political rallies, and your Nazi gatherings. Comic book convention, same thing we know. KKK meetings, book clubs discussing Mein Kampf, and any other anti-Semitic events or assembly. We hope you understand. Good luck, contestant. Why is Nicole getting this text message? I know what route you're missing. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so we're going to skip school with the violent girl, the violent alt girl now. God, I really don't want to go back either. See? But I don't know. You already know what you're getting if you go back there. Some white bitch with wholesome bumper stickers. And a sun damaged poster telling you your outfit doesn't matter. Plus her whole stupid I don't own a TV attitude. Yeah, so fuck that bitch. Fuck that petition writing Prius driving bitch. What's okay, wrong with but if we don't go back to class, where should we hang out then? I don't know. I have a car, so pretty much anywhere we want. What car you drive? <laughs> 98 Saturn. You said that like a Saturn's badass or something. It's the two-door. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, but all the AC vents are chipped because we kept using them as bottle openers. That's hot. You're like Avril Lavigne if she never got famous. I know, right? <laughs> all right, let's go. Cool. But first, we got to stop by my locker. Yeah, sure. What for? I need Adderall to stop at stop signs. Boy. He wasn't good Why enough he right in front for of her. Yo, yo, hey, you guys hanging around too? God damn it. Is there a reason you're specifically here, or are you just some annoying free spirit? Well, if skipping is free spirited, doesn't that make you guys free spirited too? It's, it's not a bad thing. When girls are free spirited, it's actually cute. Yeah, when men do it, it's like, fuck off, go die in a war. <laughs> exactly. So if you don't have any business here, go to Iraq and leave us alone. Actually, I kind of might have some business here. Business like what? Business like... I heard you buy Bud. Jesus Christ. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, but not everybody buys good shit. Okay, what do you got? How much? 
a quarter for 180. 180? Is it laced with gold? I know there's cheaper stuff out there, but this shit here, this shit here is 180. You better turn 180 and walk away, gringo. Gringo? My boyfriend's an MS-13. I have the pass. <laughs> okay, so what? 175? How about 120 and a buzz? I'm open to trades. What you got? You're an ex, right? I could be, but why is your ex shiny and red? Is that cough medicine? Dude, no way. It's only like that because she got it from Mardi Gras. Yeah, it blends in with the necklace. Is red a Mardi Gras color? Do you want to get fucked up or not? How do I know if they're good? <laughs> take one. No, actually take all of them because they're kind of weak. Okay. Damn, that wasn't even 20 minutes. Now I can break <laughs> it up in my locker. Steal a shit, by the way. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> that was really good. You were really good. The Mardi Gras save was awesome. I was surprised you didn't fuck it up. Emily I is it with as chaotic as, and then they'd know as Nicole yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. We're really Christmas good at fucking dead. with people. I know. Because we get to the mall. God, this isn't even that much money. You want to roll some? Game over, yeah! yeah! This might be the first time they ever actually restocked this mall. Yeah, did you see the homicidal slut shirt with a gun on it? The one in Spencer's? Yeah, that was awesome. What about those panties with Kurt Cobain's suicide note on them? <laughs> those are so hot. Fuck, we need money. We gotta sell this weed. Emily and Nicole, I didn't know you guys were friends. Why is Jeffrey here? You know his name? You don't? No, I just call him nerd shirt. Jeffrey, why aren't you at school? It's 3.30, school's been over. Wow, time is like automatic in here. Well, Jeffrey, since you're out and about and everything, you trying to get faded? Faded? Uh, are you gonna throw bleach on me again? No, <laughs> no. What she means is like, are you looking to blaze right now? Blaze? Like Blaziken the Pokemon? What? Pikachu is a Pokemon. What the fuck is Blaziken? <laughs> Blaziken's a newer Pokemon. You're up to date on all the Pokemon? Isn't everybody? They're only up to 493 now. How much head do you get an hour? Can the two of you just speak English? <laughs> Jeffrey, you want to English get really motherfucker, high do you speak it? English? Wait, I know what that means. Are you guys trying to sell me drugs? You shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you with an eyeliner pencil. Nice try, but I think my time and money are spent better elsewhere. Just say no to drugs, Let's Jeffrey. Let's just hope the both of you learn how to pay attention in health class. I'll see you never. I hate he him would have voted so for Reagan. much. How can you talk shit when you can't even tie your shoes? Yeah. Did that seem out of character for him? You've seen him with a blunt before? No, not that. He's never been that dismissive of a girl before. Me every time I literally he's told paid. him to kill himself, and he'll still try to be friends. <laughs> oh, me too. He just likes female attention. But if he's turning ours down, <laughs> me that too. means... Sorry I'm late. Got a little caught up. It's okay. What do you want to do next? Oh my god. He actually found a human female willing to listen to him. I'm not happy for him. After the way he just talked to us, me neither. <laughs> Are we gonna do something about it? I think you already know. Yeah. By the way, did I mention the YouTube anime copyright controversy? You did, actually. It's okay, though. Oh, sorry. It's just a big deal. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have been talking about it. I don't mind. Do you want to hang out after school again tomorrow? Tomorrow? I guess so. That'd be good. In, like, uh date sort of way yeah i'd like that we have a lot in common and you're really nice Jeffrey well, found somebody oh, what was that oh nothing nothing at all oh um, jesus oh Jeffrey, look at please. this is this your next jump off jeffrey um okay what's going on oh he didn't tell you then again he didn't tell us either yeah jeffrey loves telling girls they're the only one then he blocks your number after you're left with herpes fuck the herpes you got me pregnant jeffrey what, what, what is this true you told me you're a virgin jeffrey oh so we just never existed to you but they're making all this up i don't understand i am a virgin mm. would a virgin Karen, say you there's 493 better. pokemon before going down on me 493? You told me that exact Pokemon number yesterday. Were you cheating on me? No, I don't even know them. Not only will he cheat on you, he's also really Christian. Yeah, he'll tell you he's pro-life while finishing. Oh, no. You're not believing them, are you? I... I need a minute. I need you to pay for my treatment. Wait, and you better Karen pay for this pregnant? baby, Jeffrey. <laughs> I gotta go. What the? Karen, no. Come back. I feel... <laughs> better <laughs> yeah i don't even feel like selling this quad anymore we can just go back and steal all that stuff drop me off after though yeah okay <laughs>
Is Karen gonna be a mom? Yeah, that was productive. Why does Skittles taste better when they're stolen? Dopamine rush. I thought Seroquel stopped that. Nicole, where have you been all night? Stealing I don't Skittles. know. Are you a cop now? And who's this? Should I go? Nah, you can hang out. Haven't we you met the her mall, already? Mom. So I'm supposed oh, to believe you were just at the mall right. all night? The fuck you mean all night? We were there for like, what, two, three hours? Yeah, two and a half. Like the sitcom. It's <laughs> one in the morning. Damn, we hung out with that guy that long. What guy? Nobody. What guy, Nicole? Mom, don't even worry about it. You're gonna freak out. Tell me! Oh my god. Tell me or your friend has to go home! Ultimatum. You really want to know? Yes, what guy was this? The crackhead in front of the mall we sold weed to! Where did you even get- Ugh, you're so stupid! Mm -hmm. Oh, so I guess you hate homeless people too? <laughs> no! Dealing drugs in public, dealing drugs in general, just how can you be so idiotic? Uh, it was actually kind of smart. Excuse me? Bitch, you better fix your fucking tone with me before I slash your tires. Really? We wow. sold to a crackhead, because what would a crackhead want with weed? Cops would never expect that shit. It's genius. Yeah, so why don't you shut the fuck up, Mom? How about I call the police? Your plan's just so bulletproof, you shouldn't worry. Oh, shit. Go the fuck ahead, bitch. They'll side with us anyway, because we're cute and you're old and used up. Uh, Nicole, I don't want you hanging around with her anymore. She can hang out with whoever the fuck she wants, Whore. So why don't you go to your room, pour your little wine, put on Grey's Anatomy, and shut the fuck up. I, I can't believe you! God, that felt good. Wish I could say that to my mom. Why don't you? She'd probably cut me out of the will. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Huh. But hanging out with you, <laughs> this was easily, like, the best day of my life. <laughs> Shutting your mom down was just the cherry on top. Yeah, you're cool. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, and Nicole do doesn't again? care. Yeah, so my mom's too busy crying to say no now. Awesome. Where's your bathroom? There's one. Oh my there. god. Cool. I'm just gonna bless you. Cinema therapy. Yeah, Please yeah, analyze this girl. Uh, why? I need to know. Today, I need to understand. Buds. That's the real me. That is the real unfiltered me. So fuck this med shit. I don't want my mom controlling me anymore, and yours shouldn't either. Yeah, I got you. That's cool. Besides, I want to take a Percocet to fall asleep, and perks do not mix with Seroquel. How do I do this paper, dude? There's got to be a way to get oh, out of no. doing this. Oh, no. She's flushing her How many times have I petitioned for palm juice in the lounge vending machine? Miss Ames? What is it? Me and oh, Nicole so were wondering if we could pair together for our essay. She's we going off meds. Together. Yeah, like we make it an oral presentation for class. We'll make flashcards at everything. An oral presentation on the state of modern poetry? Isn't poetry all about the spoken word? Hmm. I'll allow it. But just know I'll have a higher level of scrutiny since it's two of you together. No, that's fine. Thanks. Since when are teachers okay with switching the whole assignment? It's remedial. They just want to see it done. Something you two would like to share with the rest of the class? Like what? Actually, could we be excused to the restroom? Since when do you ask? Well, I just had an anxiety flashback to when Hillary Clinton lost to Obama last summer. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what color he was. It's still misogynistic. Understandable. Take all the time you need. Well, that was oh, no. What? How you switch the assignment? No, not that. Spontaneous? <laughs> oh, yeah. Everything it means tracks. Are you trying to talk down to me? What? No, it's just a word. They had it in the Cat in the Hat live action movie. The one with Dakota Fanning. Oh, no, you're right. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. But if you were talking down to me, I'd smack the shit out of you. I'd make you bleed. Good to know. But anyway, I wanted to switch to she a presentation. Is I've had a pretty big idea for that class, but no one to do it with. Until now, obviously. Exactly. You're down for anything, even if it crosses the line. Bitch, what line? Exactly. Miss Ames is this perfect little bitch in her perfect little world, and I want to ruin that for her. Oh yeah, totally. What do you want to do? So I've had this plan for a while, actually, but, um, sorry, it's really wild. Let me think how to word this. No, take your time. It doesn't smell that bad in here for once. Right? Yeah, uh, fuck, I need a cigarette to think. There's always somebody in here. Oh, Ari, do you have a cigarette? 
I don't smoke. Of course. What's your problem? Do I look like I want to be asked? Calm down. You hear this bitch, Nicole? Yeah, she can't tell you what to do. Okay, what the fuck is this? Can you stoners act uh -huh. normal for once? Stoner? What is it, 1990? Show us your purity ring, Jonah's sister. Show me the guy in his 30s you're banging this weekend. Yo. <laughs> really cute, Ari. Shut up. No, seriously. Your eyeliner's always sharp. Your lip gloss matches your hair. You're actually really pretty. Thanks. That's why I want to look you in the face when I stab you. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> I knew that bitch was soft. Yeah, she's weird. <laughs> what was the idea, by the way? <sighs> I still need that cigarette. Jekka has a ton. She's not in remedial, though. You want to ditch and go to regular lunch? Not like we do anything in class, anyway. Always the same table. What are you guys doing here? Hanging out. Do you have any cigarettes? Uh, are you guys skipping remedial? Are you at lunch alone? No, Kelly just went to get water. You guys are gonna go to school jail if they catch you. School well, they jail. won't catch us, right? Because you're gonna keep your mouth shut, right? Nicole. No, no, Emily, she's cool. Oh, oh, cool. So, yeah, can I have a cigarette? <laughs> uh, if I have one she in my locker. Keep calling and her yours dog is by off. the science rooms, right? Yeah. Sweet. Don't get up, I got it. Wait, you don't even know the combination. Don't worry, I'll get in there. <laughs> Isn't she great? Nicole, what are you doing with that girl? Just yesterday, Triple C is in the line of park. No, why are you hanging out with her? Oh, dude, don't be a bitch over this. I'm allowed to make new friends, okay? No, I'm not jealous. She is fucking insane, <laughs> Nicole. Insane how? Psych ward visits, choked a girl in class, set her ex-boyfriend's car on fire. Yeah, but that makes her fun. Besides, you're a hypocrite because you buy scripts off her all the time. Buying her Adderall isn't the same as hanging out with her. That bitch is gonna get weirdly attached to you and snap as soon as you get tired of her. Well, I'm not tired of her now, so I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Were you guys just talking to Emily? Sort of. I hate her. She literally choked me in gym and didn't <laughs> even get expelled. See? But hold on, but why'd she choke you? Cause I said she wasn't as pretty as Fergie. Still sound okay to you? A girl can be confident. Confident? <laughs> I was passed out on the floor for like two minutes. <laughs> bitch, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> By the way, where's your mom been? Uh, she hasn't been here That's since you yelled at her. I think she's afraid of you. She better be. Oh, yeah? For real? I don't like how she talks to you, Nicole. You're actually, like, really cool and smart, and you should be treated as such. Wow, that's, uh... What's wrong? Guys tell me that all the time, and I just say, I know. But now that a girl's saying it, I forgot how to take an actual compliment. We're friends. Don't worry about it. Are you trying to have sex with me? Oh, really? Yeah, I have no idea how to process this. <laughs> Does your mom ever compliment you? No. Because she can't appreciate what she has. And seriously? Like, seriously, Nicole? If I ever see her talk like that to you again, I will rip her beating heart out and hand it to you on a silver platter. <coughs> and you don't want to have sex with me? No. Are you sure? No, come on. If you saw someone talking down to me, what would you do? Oh, uh... Damn, killing my mom is a tough act to follow. Okay, like, if you saw my boyfriend cheating, what would you do? Kill that bitch. Oh my god, please. He's such an asshole now. Things are rocky with your gang member boyfriend? No way. Yeah, he <laughs> fucked all this shit up on heroin. The sex isn't even good anymore. Yeah, competing with heroin may as well kill yourself. Oh, that reminds me. The idea for the oral presentation? Oh god, that's tomorrow, isn't it? No, no, don't worry. I got all the supplies ready. Supplies? It's just flashcards, right? Not exactly. So you know how we want to, like, screw up Miss Ames? Yeah, for sure. And we don't even really, like, have a plan. The is still kind of right? gay. Like, honestly, what are we going to do? No, you're right. So I thought it'd be really badass if we showed her know. the real state of modern poetry. I don't poetry. know if Nicole real is suffering. gay That's or some straight. bumper sticker bullshit. Dude, I'm down for I it. What Nicole do we do? I think Nicole is ace, Okay, we go to the to front of honest. class, say a few words, and then we'll swallow this pill mixture I made. She's and ace Mr. and psychotic. Whip. So I started she is saving the worst all my syrup well instead of flushing it, and then I mixed it with stuff my boyfriend gave me, and then I bought Percocet off Kyler. Well, hold up. You're gonna OD in front of the class? We're gonna OD, cause death is fucking poetry. And when Miss Ames sees that, she's gonna shut her ass up about poetry for the rest of her life. Uh, are you sure about that? Are you backing out? Well, it's just a little... This is a two-person gang here, Nicole. Don't make me jump your ass out. No, no, I'm cool. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I said I'm cool with it. No, not you. I was hearing voices. <laughs> voices where? Like, in my 
head. They always tell me I'm wrong about something. <laughs> the psychiatrists might disagree, but have you considered listening to the voices in your head? Whatever. Are you down or what? <laughs> totally. Anything you want. Awesome. You're awesome. I love you, Nicole. Like, I really fucking love you. If you told me to kill someone, I'd do it. I wouldn't tell the cops shit. What if I told you to not kill someone? Like yourself? <laughs> Nicole, I know you're worried, but we're gonna do it together. It's gonna be okay. Nicole went too far. She can't back down now. We sure do. <laughs> this is the end. You're not gonna kiss me goodnight. <laughs> oh my god. Mwah. Thanks. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna say it back? Okay, now I do want to kill myself. <laughs> And that is why modern poetry is written. Emily done. is crazy. You certainly are. Is that a threat? Hey, Miss Ames. Sorry we're late. Not actually, though. Late again. What's the excuse this time? I tried ironing my shirt with a hair straightener, and it caught on fire. Witness. Putting out a tiny fire wouldn't make you ten minutes late, would it? Well, it no, it would. was a really cute shirt, so I cried for, like, nine minutes. I find that hard to believe. No, it was actually such a good shirt. Yeah, it had a Jack the Ripper crime scene photo and said, all work is sex work under it. <laughs> I meant the crying <laughs> in front of the class. This oral presentation better be good. It will be. Uh, yeah. Well, go ahead, when you're ready. No warm-up or anything? I don't see why you'd need one. Does public speaking make you nervous, Nicole? No, there's just a few things higher on that list. Okay, let's just start. Go on. So, me and Nicole have been looking at modern poetry and made one main conclusion. Yeah, a real big one. When you really get down to it, any living poet is a whole ass poser. <laughs> a whole <laughs> ass poser. Poetry's about the spoken word, about storytelling, right? But movies have stories, too. Yeah, last I checked. And movies suck when you see the ending coming a mile away. Why should it be different with anything else? Yeah, and poetry sucks, too, because... Because a writer's life is reflected in their work, and if their life is boring and stupid, how can we expect their work to be any better? We can't. <gasps> the poetry's linked to the poet. Good. Most people's lives are boring. Lots of waiting around. Lots of doing nothing. But when does it suddenly get interesting? When do people care about you more than any other point in your life? When you die? <laughs> exactly! Wow. Especially when it's unexpected. And especially when it's voluntary. Red like flags. suicide. And so I noticed a link. Basically all the best writers kill themselves. Hunter S. Thompson, Ernest Hummerway, <laughs> Hemingway, whatever. <laughs> it's pretty obvious to me, modern poetry sucks now. It's ruined. <gasps> ruined by what? Therapy, no self-help books, anymore. psych meds. It's like you're not allowed to be sad anymore. Yeah, what about the pursuit of unhappiness? Happy people aren't interesting. They don't tell good stories. They'll tell you about their cousin's science fair project or some other shit you don't care about. Language. So get rid of the good poets? Get rid of the people who keep you guessing? You're left with no good modern poetry. So all poets and storytellers need to be suicidal? It's not about what they need to be, it's what they are. Their life is their work. Then what's the thesis? The what? The central message of your essay? All great writers have suicidal thoughts. Cause you can't have a good story knowing there's gonna be a happy ending. That's very nice, girls. C plus. That's it. It's kind Decent of right length, have but a little inaccurate and rather melodramatic. Unfortunately, yes. Oh, then how many poems have you published? Excuse me? You graded us low because we implied you're a shitty writer. Just say it. <gasps> That's enough, Emily. Sorry your world's too cozy for anyone to care about what you make. <laughs> this is entirely baseless. Have a seat. You're soft, bitch. Face it. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Truly deep thoughts come at a much older age than 17. Whatever. You'd probably call Bob Dylan deep. <laughs> What's really deep is voting. Fallen in your community. Have you ever thought of anyone other than yourself? You did not say that. Lip service, ho. You're the type of bitch to fuck one black dude then call yourself light-skinned. <laughs> okay, out of bounds. I think you need to be written up. Go ahead. She is light-skinned, No though. one's gonna want to read it. You're teenagers. You think you're any deeper than any other adult in the world? Deeper than you, bitch. We're about that shit. And how's that? Watch us. You ready, Nicole? 
It's honestly <sighs> super humbling when the trashiest girl you know. They use the same the picture though. The most thoughtful thing you've heard in years. It's the same I picture when she was, was behind the stand. And misunderstood and made the text and background all black on MySpace so it's like a blacked out profile. But no, I never planned this suicide pact. I never cut anywhere other than my wrists. She took her shirt off in front of me, cuts all over her body. Had one of those angel wing shoulder blade tattoos. In the feathers, it said, proud mistake. I can't compete with that. What I'm trying to say is, you could skateboard, smoke cloves, get your tongue pierced. There's always gonna be a hotter bitch than you. And you just gotta accept that. I'm jealous of a girl who just killed herself. That's how fucked up I am. You might be wondering how I'm even telling you all this, even though we both followed through with it. Well, I cut her little pill concoction with crushed up Flintstones vitamins. So I passed out, I had a seizure, but it was just diluted enough to where I didn't die. <laughs> okay, so I'm sad about it, but at least I have the serotonin to not kill myself. You survived, kind of. Video. M oh wait. Um. Now or never. Um. Oh Jesus Christ. You want. You won't see this because they make us turn our phones off. But I just want to write this for me. I'm glad we were dying together. It just feels right, and I can't think of anyone I would rather do it with. I may as well write this too. I am super fucking gay for you. Sorry I lied in the hallway and didn't tell you before we shared a bed and changed in front of each other. I don't know if that's rape or whatever, but if it is, sorry, lol. I can die fulfilled because dying together with another girl is a bigger commitment than some soft ass bitch getting married to Jack the construction worker or some other boring white girl who can't pronounce. Um, anyway, but sh but yeah, if you pass out first, I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to fall over on you, so it looks like we are cuddling. So, Emily was gay. You were right, Mayor. Anyway, video message. This is, this is our reward for getting all the endings. Imaging nursing unit. Hey, get away from that door! We're in a wheelchair. I'm doing a physical the therapy. Pizza. Pizza time. God isn't, if God isn't watching, who is? Oh, what? What was that? We were doing physical therapy? And then we were in the woods, and then a message from Jekka, I suppose. Was that Nicole that was doing physical therapy or someone else? The ending of the first game was, was a little more definite. That one was kind of surreal. Is there going to be a sequel to this? I don't know. Hello there. Hello there. Um, yeah, that's the perfect way. <laughs> that's the perfect way to close this out. So, yeah. That was... I guess Class of 09, the re-up. <laughs> you got all the endings and the video message. So that is the end of this. Is there more to this? Is there a class of 10, of 11, 12, where they're in college? I don't fucking know. I don't think so. 
Now what? I just said I don't fucking know, Mayor. <laughs> that that's it. That's it. Seven seven text messages and a me and a video message. That was it. That's it. That is all she wrote. That is all of Class of 09. There's an anime or something of Class of 09. Um, that exists for some fucking reason. But yeah, so <laughs> that is that is it. So um, thank you everyone so much for joining me tonight. Um, I believe I will be streaming on Monday. Monday is going to be a very busy day for me, but I think I'll be streaming on Monday. Um, I will let you guys know by like 12, 12 noon on Monday, Eastern Standard Time, if I'll be streaming then or not. If not, I will be streaming on Tuesday, so that is very variable. Um, so, yeah, so... Um, my schedule is very chaotic these days. Um, I do not know what mood I'm going to be in. I feel like I am going, I am going through a change in my body. Um, I am a teenage girl going through puberty and I do not have control of my emotions. Um, <laughs> much, much like the girls in this game. <laughs> But yeah, so thank you everyone so much for joining me tonight. Um, please follow if you haven't already so you do not miss on all this awesome content. And until next time, ja, mata. Have a good weekend, everybody. Do not mix do not mix drugs. Mixing drugs is very dangerous, even when they're a prescription. Take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your friends. Um don't OD in front of your teachers to make a political statement. Um, and don't, and do not, and do not do, do not R word, um, your, your friends. Um, um, okay, bye. <laughs>